Hey guys, I'm in New York City just hanging out. Kind regards, masses. It's me, Hivike, and I have returned from my vacation. It's good to be back. Do you guys miss me? Because I know I missed you guys. But yeah, we're back with some more Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance. Now, I will do my trip summary stream tomorrow, so most of the stuff about, like, you know, from my trip I'll talk about tomorrow, but I might talk about some things here today. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm back now. Yeah. And how we doing today, Experimenter and Jacob? What's up? How we doing? Before I get to you guys, um, or, or thank you, Jacob, first of all, for, um, subscribing. 40 month streak, damn, dude. Thank you. You don't have to sell your soul to this channel, but it does help out. So, you know, I appreciate that a lot. Oh, when no one was looking, Lex Luthor took 40 cakes. He took 40 cakes. That's as many as four tens. And that's terrible. Wasn't that from some book or something? I, I, I remember that. Like, I, that just, like, reawakened some memories. But, yeah, 40 is a very big number. So, like, this is just every time that you guys, like, resubscribe, it's like, wow, I've been around for, like, this long. It's from a kid's book, okay. But yeah, what's up? Incredible video, right? Yeah, that was, that was what it was like being in New York. Well, not really. I, you know, I didn't really have as many, like, you know, odd encounters, like, in the subway or, or like, anywhere, really. Like, you know, there were some people, like, kind of arguing if anything, or, you know what, actually, I did see some, like, some homeless guy tweaking out, but most of the quote-unquote crazy stuff that I've seen was in New Jersey, <laughs> but I'll get to that later. Yeah, um, the last one you didn't get, well, I, you know, I haven't played, that was, like, a reference to, um, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. But, you know, like, New York is known for having, like, weird encounters. That video, I've seen a lot of memes of, like, you know, that specific video. I don't even know, like, um, what the original's supposed to be. Like, you know, I, I guess he looks kind of like Andrew Tate, but I don't think that's him. He's probably some vlogger dude, but anyways, like, he's just, like, you know, filming himself in New York. And then, like, there's just some random guy staring at him, like, um, while he's filming the video. And, like, I've seen different memes of it. I like this particular meme because it zooms in on, like, that weird guy in the yellow shirt. So, so like, besides the UI, it's great. But, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll share that link um, in a bit. But the pre-stream video... Not pre-stream video. The pre-stream song was The Nightfly, a chiptune cover of Donald Fagan's song. Um, I, I usually like listening to the light... I can't speak. The Nightfly... Um, it's a good song. Like, Donald Fagan is one of the founding members of Steely Dan, um, which is a band that is known for, like, um, it's jazz fusion songs. And, like, the, their lineup constantly rotates except for, like, the two founding members. So, like, they, they're not really a consistent band when it comes to, like, you know, members and stuff. But um, I really love their music. And Donald Fagan has, like, his own solo discography. Um, I believe the Nightfly was one of, like, either his first album, or at least, like, one of the first. But, um, that song, I always like listening to when I'm in, like, a big city. Like, I remember when I used to live in LA, I'd always be listening to that, um, you know, coming home from, from school. Or just, like, if I'm doing, like, any nighttime drives. And I added that song to my New York playlist. Like, I had this whole playlist of songs, like, you know, for New York aesthetic. Like, mostly, like, themed around New York or, like, about New York. Or, like, if they give off big city vibes. Or if, like, like songs by artists from New York. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm listening to this all the time while I'm in New York. So, you know, coming back from New York and, like, you know, like, East Coast in general. But, like, you know, that... I wanted to have that New York vibe, so like, if you would like to listen to that song, I'll leave a link in chat here. And I, I do believe that Donald Fagan is like originally from New York, like when he and Walter Becker formed Steely Dan, I think they started off in New York, but then they kind of like did most of their recording in LA. But um, they'd go back and forth to record in New York as well, from what I remember reading, but yeah. I know, yeah, they have a Walter. 
And then, again, the pre-stream video that was Oblivion NPC. Hey guys, I'm in New York just hanging out by Dr. Erkin. So, it's uh, <laughs> funny video. If you want to watch that, I'll leave a link in chat here. Oh, I should also mention that chiptune cover was by Octoblink. We only have five subscribers. I think they deserve more than that. Because that, that was a pretty solid cover. Like, I think they um, perfectly captured the Nightfly's melody well. There is, like, this funky little, like, um, synth in the song, which I don't know if it's because of my speakers or if, like, you know, like, if they kind of toned down that little, that little tone. But, um, yeah, other than that, you know, not, not really covering that as well. It's a pretty solid cover. I'll put on some music because we will make this a drinking game stream tonight because I look at my fridge and then I remember Oh shit, that's right, I never finished that fucking green grape soju from before my trip. Cause like, before my trip I was sick, so like most of the time I wanted to drink vitamin C, so I was like, no alcohol this time. So, I'll, I'm going to- I don't know if it tastes as good, but you know, it's there, I have to do something with it. And if I do finish it before the stream's over, I do also have more soju, so... Yeah, the green grape soju is one of my favorite soju flavors, it's, it's top tier. But um, yeah, let me go ahead, I'll pull up the drinking game prompts. If you'd like to participate with an alcoholic beverage or a non-alcoholic beverage, the link will be right here. And let us start if... Where's Chrome? Oh, here we go. Hold on, I have to adjust this. But yeah, you know, the s 5 prompts are always... There, there's a lot, so that's why I got the music going on. Anyways, let me let me get through all this. Take a drink every time you die, every time any of your attacks repel or drain. Likewise, if you're killed by an attack reflected at you, or or like another if you're killed by an attack reflected at you. And then likewise, take a drink every time an enemy hits anyone in your party and gets their attack reflected back on them or you drain their attack. Take a drink every time you or a party member misses, every time a boss uses a move that gives them an extra press turn, every time you encounter Jack Frost or any of the other Jack Bros, any time you get ambushed and killed without a chance to attack, um, every time a boss uses a healing spell, every time a party member is charmed, another drink if every time they hit one of- wait, take another drink every time they hit one of your other party members, another drink if they kill a party member, and another drink if they heal an enemy. And hello, Elliot! How are we doing today? What's up? There's my other, um, frequent subscriber. You are, you know, my other faithful subscriber here. 40 months, man. A long time. But thank you for selling your soul. Again, you don't have to, but it does help my channel out, so I appreciate you. How we doing? Yeah, Experimenter, it looks like you're the only one here without a sub. But you know what? Don't feel pressured to sub. That's okay. You know, as long as you're here, I appreciate you. That, you know, that, that's all you need to do. The subs is just like a little extra thing that you can do to show more support, but, you know. You could sub to the Dom, yeah, but, yeah, I, no pressure. Don't, don't give in to peer pressure, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna force you to. If you, but if you do, by all means. Anyways, back to the prompts. Take a drink every time an enemy uses charge slash focus, mind charge slash concentrate. Another drink if the enemy lands a charged attack afterwards. Um, another, take a drink if you see Mara. Two drinks if Mara makes an innuendo. Take a drink every time you try to recruit a demon and it gets hostile. Two drinks every time it looks like a demon's going to join you, then changes their mind at the last second. Which, you know what, honestly, I'm not really sure if we've seen this in SMT5, but, you know, it's still there if, you, if we ever need to. If you encounter a demon during a full moon or kagatsuchi and are about to talk to them, take a drink to join the party. Toast if you manage to recruit a demon in this manner. A drink if the demon says it can't join you, but compensates your time with a common healing item like a life stone or medicine, which, you know, they don't really do that. If anything, it's just like, I'll join you next time as long as you have space, which I've been getting a lot. Drink if you offer a demon an item, and then it gives the same item back in exchange, which again, we haven't really seen here, but I, I just keep that on there anyways. Take a drink every time a specific year is mentioned. Um, every time an enemy Alice uses die for me and it hits. And, you know, I don't I don't know if there's any enemy Alice's in this game. Maybe for vengeance, but I don't remember in vanilla. 
If a fusion accident occurs, drink to celebrate if that accident lands you with a powerful demon. Especially one that can only be obtained by accidents, which you know what, honestly, I'm not really sure what demons can only be obtained through accidents in this game. So, mmm, but it's just there. If anyone knows, let me know. Drink to calm your nerves if the fusion accident happened while you were planning a sequence of fusions to get the right skill on the demon you want. That's happened to me before in fucking Persona 5. Holy shit, I was so pissed off. <laughs> but yeah. Um, you do need to buy PS2 related stuff. So close, but was called for surprise camping. Ooh, surprise camping, that sounds like fun. Did it happen already, or, or like, is it like, is it like in the, still in the works? But, yeah. Either way, yeah, no problem. You, you gotta, you gotta use your money on the things, like, that are important to you first. The experimenter gets a PS2 in the mail, opens the box, cartoon explosion. It's got that <laughs> cartoon, like, sound effect too. Yeah, I can see that happening. <laughs> Alright. Drink if a Mitama escapes before you can act. If you lack- drink if you act like the right element to knock out a Mitama. Take a drink if you get ambushed by a flying enemy that you couldn't spot. Uh, drink when your navigator's point of interest turns out to be an enemy encounter. And every time an Am Amano Zako says, hey, 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 but we haven't seen her in a while, so I don't know. Drink if a hard to reach chest contains an essence that you already own. Every time someone says, seriously, sheesh, don't worry, for real, calm down, among white, or thank you so much. Take a drink when a moment, please. Which you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of having doubts that we're even gonna see it, cause like, holy shit, it hasn't been happening in a while, and I'm like, oh no. But again, we shall see. The game's not over yet. Every time Algami says "young man," and that doesn't just include like you know the, I mean that includes sound clips. Like even if he doesn't like say it in like the the dialogue box, if he says the sound clip, that counts. Every time you find a Mimon, and then you defeat a boss. So there you go. You just had a quickie in night, but no sleepy. You didn't sleepy? Oh, but I hope you had fun at least. Just a few hours, okay. If Experimenter has the PS2 exploding on him, he also has the comical suit on his upper body. Oh yeah, of course. His hair spiked up and everything. And the comical little- <coughs> at the end too. Like the little wheeze. See, sometimes if you get like, if, if you get like smoked in those Looney Tunes cartoons, you know, they have the little wheeze sometimes. You're running a bit low on sleep too, but it'll be okay. Yeah, kind of me too. Cause like, uh, <laughs> when, when I got back, um, last night, we, we arrived at 10 p.m. but we didn't get home until like 2 p.m. I think. Cause like we, cause we took a shuttle. Well, I'll I'll explain more like on um, tomorrow on the stream. But like we took a shuttle bus from the airport to Van Nuys, and then my dad picked us up from there. And then we stopped it in and out again. So it's yeah, like I, I mentioned on the server, but I started and ended the trip eating in and out, which is funny, but you know. There's no in and out over on the East Coast, so it's like, I gotta. <laughs> and I was really hungry, too. And then, Kyler, today, he treated me to breakfast, because, you know, we've missed each other, like, ten, ten whole days of not seeing Kyler, so it's like, I need to see my boyfriend. So, we ate at Denny's, um, like, I, I woke up at, like, 6.45, and then we had our, um, we had our breakfast, and it was nice. And what happened to my windows? Hold on, I, I need to open my sound mixer. Like the- my desktop bar just like suddenly vanished and then it came back. But that was how I was controlling sound on the switch. It's on mute now, but I'm gonna- Oh, okay, never mind. There it is. I don't know what the fuck just happened. I don't know if the stream like uh, stopped or anything, but... Yeah, my desktop bar just like went away, but now it's back. Um... But yeah, like, I had a pleasant day with Kyler today. I pretty much spent the whole day with him. We had Denny's, went back to his house, cuddled, watched- We- I needed to catch up on Oshinoko. He's been, like, watching the second season. He was like- Cause, like, I- 
I thought he was caught up with the second season, so I was like watching it by myself initially, and he's like, I thought we were gonna watch together, and I'm like, I'm sorry. So then, like, I haven't watched, like, episodes 10 through 12, so, like, we watched those together, had some drinks, and then I, I got some sleep, at least, you know, cuddle and sleep, and then, like, you know, woke up so he could go to work, and now I'm here. But, um, I did, oh, hold on, let me actually start the game. I, I did also, like, have a little power nap earlier, too, because, like, those, it's Taco Tuesday. So I had the tacos. I swear to God, there's something in those fucking tacos that makes me tired. I don't know what, but, um, yes. And, uh, okay, about the new PC. I do not have it yet. However, Kyler is going to install it tomorrow. He's going to help set it up. Um, he's also going to bring the kiddo along, too, because, like, he's going to be off starting tomorrow. He's working right now. But, um, the kiddo hasn't been to the house yet, so, like, you know, I just wanted to check with my parents if that's okay. And they're like, yeah, so they're going to meet her. And, um, cause like, you know, it, he's probably gonna have her tomorrow and it's like, you know, it's the only time that he can set up the PC cause then I'm gonna return to work on, on Thursday and then we have the fishing trip on Saturday. So I'm gonna be gone again, at least Saturday. We'll be coming back Sunday. So like, I'll probably have a stream then, but I'm, I'm just gonna be gone for like one, gone from here one, one more day. But, um, yeah, I will, I will discuss more about, you know, what the future will look like with this PC. Um, but yeah. Jeez, Jacob, slow down with the fucking questions. I'm gonna get to it. God. But yeah, the Nikol tacos. Yes. I know, seriously, and maybe that's what they took. God, Kyler was, like, super tired today, too. He, like, he took some NyQuil when I wasn't looking. Cause, like, the reason why we stayed up to watch Oshinoko was because he couldn't fucking sleep. I couldn't sleep either, so we're like, let's drink and watch some Oshinoko, and we did that, and that was fun. <laughs> it was fun, like, you know, arguing about, like, ships and stuff, because, like, I, I kind of shipped, like, Aqua and, uh, Arima, and then he ships, like, Aqua and, uh, uh, what's her name, Akane, so <laughs> we're just kind of arguing, like, throughout, throughout, like, the watch-along, just like, oh my god, this ship's better. But, but yeah, I'm not- <laughs> I don't know. I, I think there's chemistry in the ship that I like, and he's like, no, there's no chemistry in that ship. And like the other ship, like, um, with Aqua and Akane, they're actually dating, but it's like, you know, I, I can see it, but I feel like- And also, knowing what I know from the manga, I'm, I'm like, mm, you know, I think- I think I like this ship, but you know. Both- they're both valid ships. <laughs> it was just fun. But, um, yeah, anyways, we're going to be fishing in Morrow Bay, so, um, we're gonna leave, I'm not sure when we're gonna leave Saturday, but I did, I was thinking of, like, taking the day off anyways. At first I was gonna be like, I'm gonna work for a few hours and then leave, but then I was like, you know what, that's like being at work, like, too few hours, because at least, like, the Friday that I left, um, for my trip, at least... I, um, you know, I got, I got to stay, like, for at least eight hours. I'm not doing auto heal. That was, I pressed the wrong button. But, yeah, like, if I, because, like, I was thinking of getting off of work at 11 a.m. I get to work at 7 a.m. And I'm like, 7 to 11 is a little too short. So we're not going to do that. I'll just call the day off. I still have a lot of hours, like, left over. So we should be good. Um... But yeah, it's gonna be fun. I've never gone deep sea fishing before. Um, before before I talk some more, I'll take a pause. If you notice, you may have noticed, but on um, Nacho and like a few of my party members have higher levels. I did some grinding. Oh, we also last time I left off, we were like in Bethel, Egypt, or whatever. I'm here in Yoyogi right now. Because, like, I was just going back to grind. Because I didn't want to, like, progress through Egypt, you know, while off streams. And I wanted to grind because I was, like, bored. Because, like, it was a lot of driving um, during the trip. So, a lot of the time, I'd be, like, you know, either staring out the window, listening to music, reading Kafka on the Shore. Which I mentioned, like, in the last stream, like, the Vermont stream. I have finished it at this point. And Kyler let me... Well, not while I was over, he let me, um, the book with Kyler Stern, like, the, the actual character. 
I believe the trilogy is called Night Angel. Let me go get the book. I, I have it. It's a and it's a big fucking book. Like this, this, this is a chunky boy. It's bigger than my um, the Notebook trilogy. Like that. This is also a book that um, includes the whole trilogy. Yeah, it's called Night Angel: The Complete Trilogy. So, uh, I'll be reading that. Book one, The Way of Shadows. Book two, Shadow's Edge. Book three, Beyond the Shadows. Looking at this whole book, um, there are 1,253 pages. Although the very last page, it's like extras, and I'm like, ooh, okay, cool. So, I'll be reading that. I'll take it to work, and I, I'm probably not going to finish it until like way, way, way later. And he's like, that's, that's fine. So, so yeah, that's that's gonna be the new book. Rip this, yeah, I'll, I'll heal everyone. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun trip. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, any, I, I'm sorry, I keep jumping back and forth. But um, yeah, this is the team right now. I, I don't remember. I think I got Dormarth while I was doing the grind. So it was funny. Like here, let me let me show the screenshots because I also like some of my demons. Um. You know, they got the- they have your- they're almost trusting you. Like, we got Jack Frost. Um, yeah, he's- he's, like, pretty much my- my bestie right now. Mothman as well, except I accidentally skipped over his dialogue where it says Mothman has his utmost deep trust in you, so, like, but this is him learning, like, a new skill, um, from- from- like, after that. But yeah, here- it's- Here's, like, my whole party of, like, you know, dog-related people. Because, like, it's funny. You can have two Hayatoros in your party. Like, one from Yuzuru and then the one that you confuse by yourself. So it was funny having, like, Yuzuru attack with Hayatoro first. And then I have my own Hayatoro, like, doing the same fucking attack. And then I have Dormarth there. Uh, I oh, yeah. I, I took this screenshot because it has both Hayatoros. It's, like... It's, like... You know that meme of Obama giving, like, another Obama, like, a medal? This has, like, that same energy, because, like, you know, it, it's Hayatoro healing another Hayatoro. So, like, yeah, this is one of those few times where you can have two of the same demon in your party. So if Kyler gets back, I'll be like, I, you can actually have two, two demon, in, like, two types of demons, or two of the same demon in your party. But it, this is just, like, you know, it's a special condition. This also became my bestie, and, uh, oh, I, I like the dialogue that she had when she learns, like, the new skill. She's all like, oh dear, what is this wretched art? Did this emerge from me? Did this emerge from me? I guess so. Yeah, it did. I don't even remember what I gave her, though. Yeah, I know, right? Wretched art. And Thorny is also my bestie, and Baphomet Kuhn, so yeah, that's everyone who got my utmost trust in me. Just as a little recap of what happened while I was gone. Um, and it looks like Baphomet Kuhn wants to talk, speaking of. Let's talk to him after I get everyone healed up. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I don't even remember what else I was saying. Oh, right, I'll, I'll talk more about stream stuff, like the future of streams in a bit. But let us talk to demons first. Also, since I'm stronger, like, that abscess that I was struggling with last time, because, like, the last time we played this game, I was struggling to fight an abscess, and also we looked into Nahobino's, like, head, like, literally. Like, we saw his eyeballs and mouth and everything, because we stood in a specific spot where, like, you can tweak around with the camera and you look inside. But, um, yeah, I'm, before we go move on to the Egypt stuff, I'm going to fight whatever abscesses I can in this, or at least in Shinjuku. And then we'll go on. Did I screenshot, uh, you smell bad, use this to clean or something? From this? I don't think I screenshotted that. I, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. It would be a simple feat for me to gain more power, should I desire it. Wait, I thought, I thought you trusted me, what? Huh? What? Did I die? Hold on. Oh shit. Maybe I fucking died. After that screenshot and didn't save. I don't remember. 
I honestly can't remember, but it, if we'll find out if we get a Baphomet has his utmost trust in you, utmost trust in you. We'll see. Behold my greatness, and engrave into your mind anew. How terrifying this power that accompanies you is. I know, scary. Ooh. There were always lots of he humans walking under Shinjuku Station, ho. Oh. No, I mean, this isn't an encounter. He's our Jack for us, so I'm not gonna count this as a drink yet. One of my secret goals was to he have my face plastered all over the walkway there so they could admire me, ho. Jack Frost is such a diva. I love to see it. Oh, and Mothman, too. Man, this netherworld that I hate. I hate it. Let's call a UFO and kiss this topsicle stand. Hasta la vista. Topsicles. Oh my god. Persona 4 reference? I love that. Okay, there, it looks like there's one more demon that wants to talk with me. It's Forney. Your name ain't bad, but what if you were to add a middle initial, hmm? Like Nacho F. Beignot? <laughs> now that's more like it. Yeah, I, I think F sounds about right. Yeah, F doesn't really stand for anything, it's just F. Oh wait, I know why he's saying F. He wants- he wants Fornius as my middle name. Toaster La Vista. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know what? Doesn't- doesn't I guess say Asta La Vista? Yeah, maybe Persona 3 reference? Alright, well anyways. We're healed up. Uh, oh! Oh, right. I almost- um, where was that again? Shinjuku, right? Okay, I'm only gonna really focus on Shinjuku. Actually, hold on. The Gogmagogs. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we can fight Mara and stuff. Let, let's let's focus on Shinjuku first, because that was the main thing giving me problems last time. Or am I already... Where am I? Oh, no. I wanna... Oh, no. Wait, there is no... Oh, this is the closest... That's the closest to it. Never mind. We're already here. Wait, no, I'm in your yogi right now. Hold on. We want to be there. Right? Or am I already... I'm confused. Or do we want to go to- No, okay, I think I'm thinking of Kabukicho. Or something- I don't fucking- look, just, just let's go to Kabukicho. One thing you've been confused about- Why does Lone Prayer feel repetitive as hell to listen to, but not Mass Destruction, Time to Make History, or any other battle song with lyrics? Oh my god, it's Osei. I wanna- I wanna get Osei. I feel like it's because of the high encounter rate in Persona 1. Like, you have no choice but to, like, you know, listen to that song every time a battle happens. Persona's 3 and up, you see the enemies on screen, so you can choose to fight if you want to. So I think maybe that's part of it. That- I, I really think that's the main factor in it, because Lone Prayer honestly isn't bad of a song. It's just, you know... Because there's so many encounters, and like the high encounter rate, oh fuck, really? You know, that- I think that really adds to it. Yeah, we haven't fought Osei yet, so I'm gonna be safe and have witness me. Yuzuru's gonna be the target. Oh yeah. But that's just a theory. Okay, theory. Okay, very nice crit. I just- I don't know what Osei's weak t Wait, I was gonna talk to them, I'm fucking stupid. Hey, there we go. Yuzuru really has witnessed me? Bro watched Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, the- Yuzuru! Bitch. Let's talk for- No, I'm out of here. No! Let's talk. Let's let's talk things out. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I, I meant to talk, but I, I'm used to. I still have the grind set mindset right now. I remember you. You're that demon who didn't have enough room for me, aren't you? Well, have you made some space? <laughs> Oops, I don't have space. I'm sorry. What? There's no room. It seems it's not my time yet. Oh fuck me. 
Yeah, I deserve this. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, yeah, okay, that- well, at least this gets us a drink. That- I forgot we talked to them. I, I guess that makes sense, though, if I've seen them already. Because I, I like Osei. Reminds me of Ocelot. Okay, yeah, I feel like this soju does taste a little different. But... It still tastes as good. It just has a little bit of a different uh, taste to it. Well, that's a great way to start off the stream, huh? Alright. Let's- Mad Gasser. We haven't seen this guy yet. Damn. Well, you better hope that this guy doesn't get stuck in a car with you, a road trip. I did that to drink? I might have. I could have. Damn, I've, I've been found out. <laughs> yeah, we're like, what, 30- we're more than 30 minutes in and I still haven't had a drink except for now, so yeah. Alright, hold on, we gotta get- we gotta get this back. Psycho Mantis looking mofo. Oh yeah, the- the gasser. Oh yeah, you are lagged. Alright. Well, at least- I'll- I'll still talk to everyone and then I'll save, make sure that we're okay. The- my main objective was to fight that abscess. Yeah, we- we just got off on the wrong foot. That's fine. But, um, yeah, so anyways. With Kyler going to install my computer tomorrow, that means we'll, you know, first of all, we'll have, like, faster loading times and everything. Oh, it's Mananangal. Let's talk to her first. Will we be leaving anytime soon? I detest lazy men, just so you know. I'm not lazy. Is there anyone else who wanted to talk? Looks like it's, like, randomized. But... It is Spooptober, and you know what Spooptober means. I usually have spooky games lined up. At least one. Now, I have at least two planned, but here's the- Here's the thing. We already have so many games, like, on the lineup, it's like, what am I gonna do? Now, there's some games where, like, all we're really doing is just grind, so I was thinking either, like, we could just, like, you know, temporarily take off the grind games and, um, add these next two swoopy games that I'm planning to the lineup, or we focus on the two um, spoopy, spoopy games, besides SMT5, because, like, you know, I still want to do Shin Megami Tuesdays, and then we'll, like, we'll just focus on those those two games I'm going to add. Try to see if I can finish them in October, which I doubt, because it's, it's still two games. But, you know, I, I still want the spirit of Spooptober, because, you know, I, I always do something for Spooptober. It's just, there, there are a lot of games on the lineup, so it's like, what am I going to do? I, I am gonna also have K-On, like, squeezed in somewhere, cause, like, we're almost done with it, so, like, I'll, like, put a temporary hold on the manga read-alongs, but, like, the, the YouTube audience really seems to like the manga read-alongs, so I'll bring them back once November comes around, but, like, that's, that is the plan. Or, th th those are, like, my options. But anyways, let's see what Ishiro has to say. I wanted to join this fight, but I ran away from the battle at school. Well, that's never happening again. Even if I'm all alone, I'm gonna save as many people as I can. Oh yeah, hold on, let me see who's talking down here first. Oh, it's Mothman again, okay. He, he might have the same thing. Oh no, this is a different dialogue. Wait, what the heck? Is Mothman- He's almost as tall as Nahobino, what? I didn't think he was that big. Shit. Don't get too snuggly with us now, got it? Just cause we're on your team doesn't make us friends. We're demons, man. Demons! Don't think I won't snap your neck if I feel like it. I love Mothman. He's so friendly. Very cute. But yeah, so... That's the plan with the PC. And, like, with the PC, like, being more stable, once, like, you know, once we get this new one in, the sound alerts should come back. Hopefully I can get, like, you know, the, the follow raid, like, prompts working again. But yeah. Um. What else? Oh. Kyler also wants to do Family Link on Steam, so he has some games, like, including one of the spoopy games I want to play. Um. Well, I'll have, like, more games available to me. And because, like, um, so yeah, like, or wait, hold on. Yeah, so like, 
there there definitely will be more games that I can play on PC. Um What else? What else? And also who was I feel like the demons that we were trying to fight for the abscess, like, were weak to wind, but I don't remember. I'm just gonna- oh, I do need Tao, because she's our healer. Can't imagine Mothman being able to snap anyone's neck. I mean, he's a demon, so I can- I can see it. He'll figure out a way. Don't- don't let the cuteness fool you. Um, but yeah, with the PC, one of the games that I'm gonna be playing is Baldur's Gate 3. However, you guys aren't gonna see it, because I promised Kyler that we would play it together, because it's multiplayer. So, at least, like, for first experiences, you guys aren't gonna see my first experience of Baldur's Gate 3. I'm, that That's just gonna be a me and Kyler thing. So, like, I'll probably talk about, like, maybe, like, maybe, like, slightly, like, you know, what what I think of the game, you know, during streams, but... Yeah, I, I'd still like to stream it, maybe, in the future, because that would be interesting to have- That would be a fun thing to show on stream. But, they do- They mentioned- or Kyler has mentioned there are, like, explicit scenes that are in the game, which obviously I can't show on here, so it's like, I want to be able to experience that, and like, you know, if I get to see that with him, that, that makes things more fun. So, so yeah, that that's gonna be a thing. Yeah, bald, Baldi's Gate. We're gonna. So that is something I will be playing in the near future. What the? Where, where'd Supino go? There you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where was that fucking abscess again? How do you get to it? Where was it? Where was it? Um, let's see. What else, though? What else did I have to say about the PC? I, I don't remember if I had anything else to say, but yeah, things are looking bright in the future. The streams will be optimized, so look forward to that. Where was this- hold on. It's that way. Have I even gone that way? Is this the abscess I'm thinking of? Or was it there? Man, I don't even remember. Oh, wait, no, I'm stupid. We're trying to go there. I could have sworn it was supposed to be here, though. Hold on. No, no, no. Yeah, I I remember there was an abscess in this area that I was like, I want to try to fight it. I know it was, like, around here somewhere. But, like, how do we get to it? Watch me, like, wander around again. Oh, that's right, I have to go through here, and then we can get vending machine stuff. I'm like- I see like there's like a- um, one of those treasure things on the map, and it's like- it's like dark instead of yellow, and I'm like, why does it look like that? And then I realized maybe it's because I already opened it, but it was an essence that I already had, or like, um, my storage was full the item. I think that's why it looks like that on the map. Yeah, I, we'll find out right now. <laughs> yeah, okay. Interesting, I don't- may, maybe I forgot if I've noticed that before, but it's that's an, an interesting little touch. I don't remember that from vanilla. Okay, I think this is where we're headed. Ah, oh. oh! Almost missed this vending machine. I don't remember if I got this, like, specific miracle on stream or off stream, but there's a miracle where it's like, if you- the more you talk to the vending machines, or like, you interact, then that also helps you increase MP. So it's very handy. Okay, yeah, this- I think- we are headed in the- AH! JESUS! Got ambushed! Ah, fuck! Alright. Now, I don't- what are these guys weak to? I feel like the left one's weak to fire. The right one- Oh, I think I remember he's weak to- Oh, okay, never mind. We have the fire and wind. Perfect. Alright. I can't be using Mazama, though. Okay, let's see if I can get rid of him right now. Oh, we're, like, way stronger. 
And Carnage Fang, look at that, 311 damage, that's the highest I've seen it, but it usually like um, averages to like around 200-ish HP damage. That is impressive. Like, Hayatoro is very strong, so good demon to have. Um, y you can, uh, uh, sure, you do this. And, uh, let's see, um, let's do Aramasa. Oh, yeah, I do feel more well-rested now. I was just, like, really tired earlier. Uh, no, I see it. Here we go. Like, seriously, I don't know what the fuck Del Taco is putting in them tacos. But they're still great. Alright, let's finish this guy off. Oh, and it was funny too. Hippa called me earlier today, and she's like, are you back in town yet? And I'm like, yes I am. And she's like, are you back in work yet? And I'm like, not till Thursday. And she's like, oh. And then she proceeds to call Kyler's dad on the phone because like she had some like client in the lobby that she wanted to check on. And like I guess Kyler's dad knew that information, so she just goes ahead and calls him up and I'm like, what the heck? But, but yeah. I'm a little nervous about the fishing trip because like Kyler's dad is coming along and then we're also gonna meet up with Kyler's uncle and aunt that live in Morro Bay. But like I, I barely talk to Kyler's dad. Like I barely see him at work. And like, I, the, the last time I saw him, I was like talking to a client, so I didn't get to say hi, because like, I, I think I mentioned this on stream before, but like, I was like, too occupied with like, what this client was saying. This, this was a pretty severe client. And then he like, happened to pass by and I'm like, oh, oops, that was Kyler's dad. But we shall see. And according to Hippa, he was asking her, like, if he should be, like, very questioning to me, like, I guess, I guess, like, just kind of, like, you know, seeing, like, what kind of person am I? And, like, he knows that I have, like, a Catholic background, but, like, I don't, I don't really go to church except for on, like, the holy days of obligation, like, Easter or Christmas or whatever. And I think, oh yeah, that was before I left, like, Hippo was just, like, you know, just like saying, you know, like, yeah, she has a background, but like, you know, she has her reasons. Maybe she just hasn't found her way yet. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. What kind of character am I gonna make in Baldur's Gate 3? That's a very good question. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot that these guys were weak to ice. God, I'm dumb. But, here. But yeah, I don't know. Um. I usually like to make, like, rogues or bards. In fact, like, I, Kyler has, like, his own playthrough of, like, a character that looks like <laughs> looks like me. It's very cute. But, um, what the fuck? Are you serious? But I think he made me a bard, because, like, I, I usually choose to be the bard. How am I gonna customize my genitals? I don't know. I'll, I'll figure that out. I will figure that out along the way. I need a healer. I need, um, what? Who's a healer? Gotta show us the character he made that look like looks like me. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll see, I'll try to dig up a picture. Now he has mods, so like, um, <laughs> some, of the, some of the mods have like, you know, spicy outfits, so you know, you, you know, you have, to, you have to utilize that to, to the best of his ability, right? So, <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll see what- yeah, he sent me pictures, I'll have to dig up, but I'm- I'm- I'll, I'll see. <laughs> um, I- let's put this out. I think this can help. Um, yes, that's right, I was going to do this. But 
But yeah, no, I, I'd say the character looks like me to, like, you know, at least the best you can with, like, um, the character customization in this game. I need healing. I am important. You cannot let me die. Alright, let's see. Bufu. Bufu D's. Oh, I should also mention the Denny's, like, I've never eaten the steaks at Denny's. Like, usually when I go, it's like for breakfast and like, you know, every time I go with the mentality of I would like a breakfast item like eggs. Oh, hell yeah. Awesome. That That's not awesome though. Shit. But yeah, I usually get like the like eggs or maybe pancakes there, like the special pancakes. This, oh my god, look at these fuckers. God damn it. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's get Fornius. Yeah, I think Fornius will definitely be a good help. Um, but yeah, like, I felt like getting the sirloin steak with the hash browns and eggs today, and it was really good. I- I love me some... Some stonk. Also, th this is- th This is a fun little, um, a little fun fact, but when Kyler first asked me out, um, I remember, like, he was- he was working, and, like, he, like, you know, he was- he was asking if I was single, like, through text, and I was like, no. And, like, I, I liked him for a while, he liked me for a while, but, we, like, we never really acted on it until, like, he, you know, he took the move, right? So, um, you know, that that's when I was like, oh, yeah, we should, like, totally have lunch or, like, something sometime. And then, like, right then and there, he's like, well, I don't, how about breakfast after I work? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So we agree on Denny's. And, like... He's like, what what Denny's is closest to you? And I'm like, the Denny's like, there's like a Denny's 10 minutes away from me. So I go to this Denny's, like I, I'm super excited. I'm like, oh my God, the Doki Doki's. I'm like, wow, he actually asked me out. Oh my God. <laughs> and then, and then like, I go to the Denny's and like, I look for him and like, where is he? He's not here. And I'm like, I'm texting him or like calling him like, hey, are you at Denny's already? And he's like, yeah, I'm like on the left side or something like that and I'm like looking and I'm like I don't see you dude he's like what but I'm at Denny's and then I ask him okay what street are you on like I gave him the address to mine right and like like the Denny's that I wanted to go to because like yeah and, and then he, he checks and then like he looks outside and he's like oh shit I told I gave you the wrong I, I went to the wrong address, and he already had coffee and stuff ordered, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> so, because it, the reason was because the, the Denny's, both of the Denny's that we're on are on streets named after like old country musicians. So he was like, you know, they're both, they're both like, you know, white country dudes. It's like, you know, it's the same fucking thing. <laughs> We're, like, he didn't exactly say that, but you know, it, yeah, that, that's what happened, so I'm like, oh, oh, okay, it, you know, I like driving, and like, you know, he was working all night, so he, like, you know, he was tired, I'm sure, so I was like, you know, it's okay, I'll go over to the Denny's that you're at. So, this time, the Denny's that we went to was the Denny's that we were originally gonna go to, which I, <laughs> I think that was sweet of him to, like, you know, put out, because I was like, okay, because I made sure. I made sure, like, which Denny's we were going to for today's date, and he's like, oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was like, he was like, he was all like sending the laughing emojis. I'm sorry. But yeah, like, um, this time he showed up at the right Denny's. But yeah, it, it was, it was, it was a silly moment, but you know, he, he's a himbo. He has his himbo moments, but you, you, you know, I like my himbo, so like, yeah, that's... <laughs> That, that's how I knew. That's how I knew he was the one. Shit, dude. Look, I'm, I'm at a huge disadvantage here. Hold on. We, we can do this, though. Alright, let's bring in Jackie Boy. You can't remember if you've been able to make a character that looks like you in a game. Male characters are always buff and tall, aka not like you. 
I know, like, like, where's the twink options? You know, that's really unfair. Like, MGS5, yeah, I can definitely tell you, that, that definitely would not work for you. Would I have ever asked Kyler out if he didn't ask me out? I'm not sure. Because I, I was just scared. I was scared that maybe he'd reject me for whatever reason. Like, I don't know. Because, like... Because, like... Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I won't try to fight them again. I wanted to give it a shot, but I guess we're still not strong enough. At least I get a drink from that. That's okay. Damn, I like grinding for no reason. It's alright. It's cool. Actually, no, I'm gonna try again because I, I forgot they were weak to ice. I have the right weaknesses, for, like the right attacks for that. So, let me, let me, let me try again. We'll do it again. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like if maybe I had more hints from Kyler, I would have asked him out first. The The thing was, though, because, like, you know, sometimes it did seem like, you know, yeah, he likes me, but then, like, back when he was working at Quick, like, sometimes, like, you know, because, like, uh, at, at work, they talk about, like, you know, the, the attractive, like, um, people that work in our agency. And, like, um, Kyler had, like, asked someone out, like, um, from... A different team that's in the same building like before but he got rejected and like I guess like we have similar stature so I remember that like um Hippo was like you know asking me one time like she wanted to know like you know who who that person was because she wanted to figure out like um, you know what his type was not because she liked him or anything the, the weird see the weird thing is she would always, like, joke to his dad about how, like, she and him would have the cutest curly-haired babies. But, like, she, she doesn't like him at all like that. She'd just say that to, you know, just, just mess with him. But, um, yeah, I don't- I, <laughs> I don't know. I think that was, like, part of why I wasn't sure if I should have asked him out or anything. But, um, and, like, um, when she asked me about, like, the person that he asked out before, like, she didn't know that I had a crush on him yet. I eventually told her. It's so weird. Once I told her, like, um, how I, I liked him, like, um, you know, things really started, like, kicking off, like, um, like, not even, like, maybe a couple weeks after, I think that's when Kyler asked me out. His type, I don't, you know what, I don't... <laughs> I don't- I don't know- I don't know if I'm allowed to say. But I mean, just- Just think- If you just imagine my body type, that- that's all I'm going to say. Um... But yeah. Here, I'll fight these guys so we can get more, uh, practice in. Um... Yeah, you- you see- you see what I mean? Yeah, just, just, you know, let, let that sink in. But yeah, like, I wasn't sure. So I was like, I don't know. Cause like, the people that he did mention that were cute do also have like, similar body type to me. So like, I don't, I think that flew over my head. But there was like, another time, like, cause like, he always mentions like, um, how he likes like, uh, you know, goth girl aesthetic, right? He thought that I was a goth once, and I'm like, I'm not goth. But everyone- <laughs> I, I guess- I guess my coworkers, like, think I'm goth, but I, I only- I only, like, wear dark colors a lot, but I'm not- I'm not goth. There are, I do have some goth options, like, goth, goth outfits, like, around, but I don't- I don't really wear them as much. I like the goth aesthetic. Like, if anything, maybe- maybe I'm just like- I just have like some goth aesthetic in like the way I- I dress, but like... If anything, I'm more like rocker. That- that's like- that's my- That's how I present myself. Not even like really alternative, but like sometimes I'm like I'm alternative, but then I- you know, if you actually look at like how like alternative girls look, it's like, uh, I, I don't- I don't think I'm dressed that hardcore. Like, I don't know. I, I, 
I like to dress cool, but I also like to dress cute. It really depends on my mood. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, I, I don't know. Th those were like some of my hints, I guess. But I, I probably should have seen at first. I just wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I wanted to, you know, bite the bullet. But, you know, I'm, gr I'm very grateful that Kyler did ask me out. Yeah, and, then, and then he thought that I was going to reject him, but he just wanted to, you know, shoot his shot, and he did. And look where we are now. So, like, I'm dropping hints that I'm single. I'm single? <laughs> what was that from? I remember that video. I just don't remember what exactly that was. Fun stuff, though. Oh, shit. Oh, so, where was, where was that? Where was that abscess? Hold on, where am I right now? I think that was Kim Kardashian. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It's something like that. One of them reality TV shows. Because it, yeah, like the part where it's like, I'm dropping hints that I'm single. That's like the part where like, they're in the little interview room. And then they cut to what's happening. IRL. Some Keeping Up With The Kardashian spinoff. Something like that, yeah. Along those lines. Ah, nah, I'm not fighting more, you guys. Oh, they're running away from me! See? I'm, I'm strong. I'm strong. Alright. So let's get, um... I'm gonna get... They're both weak to ice. So, I'll have Forney, but I still want Tao as, like, um... Or maybe Dis. No, I'll, I'll have Tao still. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, Wayne Gretzky. Right? Yeah, exactly. Very true words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. E even at the quick, you, you could tell Kyler was lonely. And I was like, maybe, maybe he'd like me. But I wasn't sure. I, I really wasn't sure. Oh shit, I didn't mean- I meant to jump. Damn it. Okay, whatever. I still have the right moves, I think. Can we just run? No. I'm gonna prep. I'll be ready. I will be ready. Oh, that's a drink! Oh my god, wait. I don't remember how many misses I had. I'm dumb. Alright, here. Wait. Wait. Oh, they're weak to- yes! Yes, get those weaknesses in! Yes, bitch! Oh, I missed again! The fuck? That's another drink. The worst she can say is no. You, sir, are extremely bald! <laughs> Imagine. Oh my god, today, like, Kyler and I were joking, like, if you went bald. I don't remember what led to this, but he was joking how, like, Maybe he should like go to work when- cause- oh you know what? His hair's growing longer, right? So he's like... I- oh uh, yeah, maybe- maybe I should like show up to work bald someday. Oh you know what? We were talking about hair dye! Yeah, cause I'm like- I was asking- cause like I was saying my hair is getting longer too. So I'm like, do you think I should- what- what do you think? Shorter hair or not? And he's like, you know what? Either way, right? Which, you know... Good answer, because yes, that is the correct answer. <laughs> you should like me either way. <laughs> no, but yeah. Uh, no, but anyways, like, um, he was saying- Oh, hi Malachi, how we doing? What's up? We're doing a drinking game. If you'd like to take part with an alcoholic beverage or not, uh, the link to the drinking game is here. You just came back home. Perfect. Yeah, if you're at work, no. Yeah, no drinking game unless you want to, like, do a non-alcoholic beverage, but hey, the option's up to you. Yeah, bald cap Kyler. Exactly. Uh, I'll get to that. But yeah, like we were talking about um, wanting to dye our hair, because like he was, he was asking me what I would want to do. I was I was originally thinking, you know, um, I'll go back to like the the maroon, burgundy, red, whatever that I originally had, because like it, you can still tell that my hair is dyed. Like, you can still kind of see reddish, but it, it is faded a bit. I just think it depends on what kind of light shines on it. But, um, it, you can tell it's still, like, dyed. Like, it still looks kind of, like, at least brownish. But, 
with a little red, like brown red, but um, I do want, you know, the color to stand out a little more, but not standing out too much. But he was like, then he was saying how he wanted to dye his hair like blue-black. Like not, like black, but like kind of like tinted blue. Not, not like you can tell, like it's not gonna be like Nacho's hair color or anything. Like, if you guys remember Sasuke, like, from part one, Naruto, like, you know, OG Naruto. He had black hair, but, like, kind of, like, bluish highlights, so I was thinking it was kind of like that, but then he showed me, like, pictures, and I, I think he's kind of going for, like, what do they say, like, Royal Navy? Or something like that? Like, Midnight Blue, maybe? Just, like, some- you, like, you look at the hair and it looks black, but if you look closer, like, you can tell that there's, like, a bluish tint to it, like, very dark blue. Which I think he would look great in. Gold highlights for me. You know what? That's a good idea too, actually. Yeah, I w yeah. Like, what if I did the the black hair with like gold? Well, I can't have anything too crazy because like work would be like no, you, you know, you can't have anything like too unnatural. So, like, I can't I can't show up to work in like green or blue hair. Kyler arguably could, cause like, he doesn't see his supervisors and he works at night, and like, at the peck, they're kinda like, you know, they're, they're like, isolated. So it's like, unlike me, like, I work in the day shift, so I'm like, working with like, the other teams, I see like, people during the day shift, so it's like, I can't really pull that off, but, yeah. I was thinking, you know what, like, a dark black blue like that is perfect, we should like, totally match, and he's like, yeah, we should. But, um, yeah, and then some- I, and then I think that's when the conversation switched to what if I showed up to work- or like, Kyler was saying, not me. Kyler was saying, what if I show up to work in a bald cap? And I'm like, that would scare the clients. <laughs> but that would be funny. Um, but yeah. I don't know, we'll, we'll see, but I do definitely need to, like, get my, uh, my hair re-dyed for sure. Excuse me. Matching bald cap besties. Yeah, a cute couple things, right? You went through your dad's belongings and found the actual newspaper from September 12th, 2001. You can tell it's on the front page. Oh no, what would- what could possibly be on the front page? That's actually pretty cool that you found that though. Very, very neat. You were reading an SCP and got blindsided by it. Survived 9-11? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Like it was in the towers? That's funny. That's actually funny. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of what I can. Let's charge- Oh, fuck! I should have done my Omaga Tokis. That's what I should have done. Fucking. Whatever. Recharge, I guess? What is this? Send me that SCP. I want to read it later. I'll do a charge. Do it. Oh, he has a bicorn. I've never seen him use his bicorn because, like, I never really charge. You know what? Actually, here. Let, you should do. I should do debuffies. Yeah, that, that's that's what I should focus on right now, actually. And then us get Masuku Kaja. Posted it on the Discord. All right. I'll like briefly look at it. I don't have Discord open on here, so I can't really share anything from Discord on here, on the stream. But I'll at least look at my phone to see what we got. Oh, that's funny. Terrorists attack New York Pentagon. I mean, it's not funny, but you know, just... <laughs> the 9-11 memes. Oh! I have this- I'm gonna show it off in the stream tomorrow, but I have like a 9-11 memorial wristband that I got from Ground Zero. I got Kyler- I got Kyler one too, so we could match. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll explain more about that tomorrow. Yeah. I could say it, it's funny. So true. Alright, and I see you linked me the SCP. Thank you. I will- I will take a look at that later. Oh my god, Tao, what the fuck? Oh, it's cause they have Madoon. Well, that's fucking dumb. Shit, do they have- I think they have, like, fire. I don't remember what they have. Fuck. Alright, well, I'm gonna put this out. Let's go. 
because I do need a healer at least. I think Yuzu should be fine, but yeah, I I think they use fire. Hold on, let me see. It's a sad SCP, but the random it survived 9/11 just came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's like why would they put that in? That, that's kind of funny. Damn, I don't remember. I, I think I really think that they use fire, so I think we're gonna do a fire dampener. Imagine how much money that newspaper is gonna be worth, though. That is very true. Look at that. Love to see the weaknesses there. Oh, Yuzuru's charged, so I can have him do like a, um, a charged bufula or whatever. You got 9.5 total hours of tutoring in the last week? Oh, that sounds good! Awesome! Glad to hear it. Alright, I have a charged bufula. What? And he's still not fucking dead? Ha! Oh, shit. Jesus! Aw, oh, fuck. No, it was dark. Damn it. Oh, but he blocks that. Ha, fuck you. Ha. Ha. Aha. I'm gonna... No, I don't think I want to do a Makotoki yet. I'm gonna save that. There we go. One down. One down. Three to go. I don't know who lost more HP. I'm gonna go hit- I'm gonna hit this one. You promised yourself if you did enough, you'd treat yourself to buying a Naoto Shirogana cosplay. Where would be a good place to buy one? I just get my stuff off Amazon, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. Um... Yeah, I don't know, like, specific... ...good ones. And like... Do you want to do like the the casual coat one or like the the Yasogami eye uniform? But yeah, like I, I'm not really sure. I mean, if anything, honestly, what I do is just Google Naoto Shirogana cosplay and see what what results you get there. Compare prices, or compare quality. Um, but yeah, I I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, like. Like, the majority of the cosplays that I get, or like, cosplay material that I get, Amazon. Just because it's, it's fast, it's convenient. My Your cosplay came in. Um... And it's it's pretty good. It, it's decent. Um, like, the straps up top, a little loose, but I think that's because like, um... Because like, she has like, these off-the-shoulder straps. So I think, you know, they want to give like, room for that. So I think that's why it's a little loose, but um... The, the, my biggest complaint is the wig, because the bangs are too long, so I have to cut those myself. And hopefully I can get them to look better than my Oscar wig. But, yeah. I just, I just realized though, Halloween is on a Thursday and I work Thursday and I'm like, shit, what am I gonna, what are we gonna do about the, the whole trick-or-treating plan, like, with Kyler and the kiddo? But, um... I'll see if maybe I can like go to work earlier that day so I can get off of work early. Cause I don't I don't wanna just straight up call off. Uh nah. because I've been calling off too much. Here. I'll do a Magotoki this time. The snazzy blue coat. Yeah, that that's an iconic look. I think it's funny that Naoto's casual outfit looks more formal than the actual school uniform. That's true, right? Oh, hey, I mean the coat. It's all purpose. You can use that anywhere. Perfect for cooler weather. But it does it does look very classy. That is true. Naoto's a very classy person. Yeah, I, I, we got it this time. Now that I know what I know. You're gonna do Edward Elric for Halloween. Awesome. Yeah, I, I see you supporting Vic Muck Eggnog. All right. Yeah, by all means, go for it. Excuse me. Yeah, this guy. This guy. We got this. We got this in the bag. It was a good idea to come back.
But yeah, back to Jacob. I hope you get enough hours, get that Naoto cosplay because, you know, you do deserve to treat yourself. So yeah. Oh, that's a drink because we beat the boss. Awesome. We have all these now. And now I will go to Egypt. Finally, like more than an hour in. It's okay, I'm not, I'm not tired yet. What do I think is a good price? If I'm gonna be real with you, I think, I think like, honestly, no, I don't know though. The Yasugami uniforms I usually see are like around 100. So, I mean, honestly, if you want like higher quality, if you find some, like, if the cosplay is in the hundreds range, that, you know, that's honestly, that's, that's usually how the price is for, like, a decent cosplay, like, or, or like, a good, good cosplay. And for, like, Naoto, I think that would make sense. Now, of course, you can always choose to make the cosplay yourself, but I, I know you don't really have the sewing skills, so it's like, okay. You could always try to thrift. See if you can find similar stuff, but it, the way like Naoto's pants are like that that plaid color, right? I don't remember, but that would be a little harder to look for, uh, or maybe a, I don't know. But um, the coat, you could find something like that, like true. you know, true, right? Yeah. See, Angel agrees with me. You could find a coat like that, like maybe before looking. Like, the hat, I'm not so sure you can find the hat itself. The coat, you could arguably find that maybe even in the mall. Or if you want to go to, like, Nordstrom Rack or something, I don't know, but yeah. Your sewing skills are limited to fixing small holes in clothes. Hey, that's more than me. <laughs> so, you know, pat yourself on the back, that's still pretty good. But yeah, like, um, yeah. I'd say, like, you know, look around, on um, around town first. Try the mall. Or maybe you could try, I don't know, like, even Goodwill. Like, if, if you can find a coat like that. Because, like, Naoto's coat, honestly, like, you know, I can see anyone really wear that, like, in real life. So, if you could find something like that, you know. Anka zone, what the fuck? No. Your hands are just tools of destruction. Oh yeah, we know. <laughs> we know. Yeah. I I don't know how to sew or anything, so I, I wouldn't. That's why I buy my stuff. I should- maybe I should learn, though. Kyler says it's easy, because he knows how to, like, do some sewing. So I'm like, maybe I should learn. Maybe it's about time. We'll see. After so long holding my power back, at last, the time has come to unleash it! <gasps> oh, no, he's- oh, Dang it, he's still not- he's still not besties yet. We'll get there. Oh, hold on, let me- I can play that sound bit. Let me find it. Feel that mighty wind! Yeah, alright. Well, we'll get there eventually, Angel. We shall get there. You definitely recommend thrifting, that's what you did with your Tatsuya and Junpei. Yeah. So, like, yeah, like... At least for, like, Persona characters, because they- they dress up, like, you know, like, normal people. You know, because, like, they're- they're supposed to look like normal kids. Now, like, they don't look like, you know, normal, normal, at least, like, America standards, right? American standards, but, you know. Their casual clothes are things that people w could actually, like, wear IRL, so it's like, you know, you can try to find stuff, like, around. It's things like, see, for like, for characters like Junpei or like Ryuji, where they have like very like specific like um, character items, like Junpei's hat has like that specific insignia on it, or like Ryuji and his stupid fucking ZOMG shirt, like you can't really find that specific shirt, obviously, like, you know in a thrift store unless unless someone happened to have had that shirt and sold it to the thrift store and it's like oh or like donated it whatever and then you happen to find that shirt and it's like wow but yeah now you're gonna end up going to like 10 different stores and yeah that's that's what it is that is what it is if you want to if you want to like you know put the effort in like you know building your own cosplay that's what you do yeah like i 
I've done that, like, um, trying to look for loafers for, like, you know, my general, like, cosplays that, you know, you were, like, the character wears loafers, and, like, it took a while for me to find the pair that I found, um, like, I got, I got mine at, like, I think that was, like, Macy's, but then when I went to the Philippines, because, like, people, like, loafers are more culturally acceptable in Asia, so going to the Philippines, loafers were way easier to find compared to here. Like they're they're so hard to find here for some reason. You could just buy it on Amazon for 60 bucks. That sounds about fair. Yeah, 60 bucks. That that's reasonable. Yeah. You just painted the logo on the hat on. And yeah, like yeah, you can do that. Yeah, see like that's also the yeah, for the hat, yeah, you could do that. Like, something simple like that. It's just if you want to find the specific hat without, like, doing anything, like, you know, they- there, There's a store out there that sells Junpei's hat, I just- I don't remember which one it is, but yeah. Uh, you saw someone in a different stream that complained that Jax keeps saying he and hoes every now and then, and the streamer and some others like you had to say, like, come on, don't we all love Jax? Yeah, that's his- that's his thing! That's his signature quirk! If you don't like it, you can leave, but... Like, normally I don't like seeing, like, character quirks like that. I mean, it really depends. It's honestly hit or miss. It can be either annoying or just very endearing. For Jack Frost, it's very endearing. Like, it, it's just his thing. You probably won't make a better cosplay by yourself compared to what you can get. Alright, well that's understandable. Yeah, like, um, the- my drag Yosuke, I- I still bought the items for that, but the skirt, like, I mean, cause the- the skirt that I just, like, found on Amazon, but, um, it's not like it's specifically supposed to be, like, the Yosuke drag cosplay thing, but I- I- I found it on Amazon, and then, like, the hair- the hair ties with the strawberries, I found the- I found those in Claire's. It came with, like, other, um, with other, like, um, designs of the hair clips, like, um, they had, like, a popsicle design and watermelons, so, like, I'll, I'll wear those every now and then, too. But, um, yeah, Claire's, like, <laughs> if you want, like, accessories, Claire's is honestly, like, a viable place to get, um, accessories, because, like, you know, like, especially for girly stuff, they, they usually have some good things, like, that you can get. But, I mean, you know, for you guys, I don't think Claire's would really fit. You honestly never paid attention to the logo on Junpei's hat. But that's like signature. Uh, didn't expect there'd be ready-made costumes of all sorts. Oh yeah, absolutely. It makes more sense for like the more popular characters. Like, you know, for the Yor cosplay that I got. Like, there is a lot of them. And I just... I chose the like reasonably priced ones that looked decent. And also like, I'm, I'm like a small or extra small. So it's like... I had to decide uh, which one should I get, but I, you know, I ultimately decided like the small size for for me, like, and it, it fits pretty well. So, yeah, I, you know, I, I wanted it to look good, like for for like a cosplay like yours. I feel like, um, you know, I mean, obviously, I can't make my own cosplay, so it's like, you know, I gotta I gotta buy a set for this one. It it comes with the wig too, and like. Aside from the bangs being too long, it's honestly pretty well styled. Like, they, they braid up, like, the back of her hair. Because, like, you know, she has, like, the longer sideburns and then, like, the back is, like... I don't I don't remember if it's braided in the anime, but, you know, it, it looks pretty decent. It's pretty good. Uh, anyways, I should get to the demons here really quick. The earth keeps getting hotter, ho. So now it's harder for me he to live, ho. <laughs> Global warming real. <gasps> Bench! You're gonna head out, your phone's about to die. Alright, well I appreciate you dropping by. Hope you have a lovely rest of your night. Get a good night's rest and we'll catch you later. See ya. Naoto, why the hell did you come to school with a gun? By the way. Mark, holding his axe, seems perfectly normal to me. Yeah, yeah, it, it's funny. Mark just... From the very beginning of the game, as soon as you get him in your party, he already has an axe. Unlike some characters, it's like they don't have weapons equipped and you have to like personally equip them. And it's like, what the fuck? Or like, manual equip them. And it's like, where the fuck did Mark get this axe from? But now that I think about it, what if it's supposed to be like, you know, a prop? 
but then like kind of similar like to like Persona 5 how like you know the guns aren't real but because like you know the the idea of it like being a gun makes it real once they're in the metaverse it's like what if it's something like that because like Mark is like an artist and for whatever reason maybe he just has the axe as part of arts or, or maybe maybe he just likes collecting uh you know uh, weapons like medieval weapons because like you know that's a thing people do but it, it's just like why why it is uh it still doesn't make you know it still brings up the point why did he fucking bring it to school but you know oh no i just i just thought of that right now what sort of life did you live before our meeting considering you've never had to fight for your life before this happened you seem startlingly well adjusted to it i like that um no nacho was like lean back is it a side effect of having fused with me? Hmm. I'm not sure myself. Good talk, Algami. You, cho you choose to believe Naoto is straight up loaded. She's just that good as a detective that they let her have it. She got it from America. Oh, well, of course. That's where all guns come from. No, but yeah. I, I think that's why she has a gun, too. She's like the... Um, Prodigy Detective Prince for a reason. Whenever I look upon a monkey, I instinctively feel the urge to attack it. Okay, Suguru Ghetto, I see you out here. <laughs> I must be especially careful whenever you invite a monkey demon into our ranks. Jesus Christ, Hayotaro! What? Okay, well, okay, Mr. Racist? Wow. Jeez. Racist old man. You know what this haunt could use? A nice little bonsai. I got one that'll look awful classy right there. Either that or Naoto's gramps just handed to her handed it to her when she was seven. I'd like to believe that too. I can see it. You're surprised you didn't say young man. Yes! I know! Where's my fucking drinking prompt? A monkey. No, no, no. We can't count that. Now, if we counted racism as a drinking problem, <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, but, um, okay, so now, let's get to the goods. Let's go to Egypt. Or, uh, they said, what, where's, what? How do we get to, oh, is it here? Oh, it's here, that's right. Didn't think Aogami could have a conversation without saying young man. Yeah, it's, it's very, very rare, but yeah, it happens. It can happen. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really tired now, so I, I can honestly go. I'll see how long I can go. But, um, yeah. We should check Bethel Egypt's forward base before anything else. What the fuck? Tao? She's alright, fine. God. God. Well, at least now we can progress. Stop right there. I am Isis of Bethel Egypt. And who are you? Hey. I'm Yuzuru Atsuta. You have my sister here and I'm taking her back. Mm. Ah, it is you. But I'm afraid that won't be possible. She is staying here of her own free will. <laughs> what? Hey. Yuzuru, don't let her trick you. You can't trust anything a demon says. Damn. <laughs> Maybe I should make racism a prompt. Ichiro. You found a website called Internet Movie Firearms Database. D do they keep like data on like all firearms used in movies? That sounds pretty cool actually. You're right. I was almost just misled by a demon again. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hey, what are friends for if not stopping each other from making dumb mistakes, right? No. Alright, out of our way, freaks. Justice is about to be served. Look at that. They, they have like a very mystery game vibe going on right now. Some shopkeeper in ST4 just straight up says, This is real, right? Every time he said that, it was so funny. 
This is real, right? I feel that. <laughs> Apparently, Igus has an M61 Vulcan cannon. Oh, dang. That's crazy. How barbaric! Damn, fire right away! Wait, is this new music? Oh, at least I know she's weak to ice. Or Lamia. Wait, I don't think the music even changed. We're just here. This is weird. Um... I don't remember... Oh shit, was it fire that worked on them? I think... Yeah, I think I can't use Mazionga, so I'm gonna do this. Okay. Mm. Oh, hold on. Kyler just texted me. Let me <laughs> let me get to him. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Kyler transmission. I know. I I wanted to check. He's really busy. I'm like, where is Kyler? But I had a feeling he was busy because it's just him. And besides the nurses, it's him and um, another um, worker at the peck. So, or and, and they always have the lead, but the lead can't really like talk with clients like he does, like he and the other RSs do. So. So yeah, he was just busy and I wanted to check on him. Oh, I probably should have done a Marakunda. Let's do that. Um, I, uh, I, I want to see if we can get rid of the Lamia first. So, here we go. I don't remember if I healed. I think, I think Tao was still... Knocked out. Naoto has a Japanese gun. The new Nambu M60 double action revolver. I think I remember reading about that. Or, you know, actually remembering that being a thing in game. That's that's pretty cool though. Yeah, like, they still have some like, um, actual weapons in the Persona games besides Persona 1. Like, yeah, like, you have Naoto, like, the characters that have, like, you know, ammunition type um, of weapons. The gun list for P4 Arena has two entries. The gun list for P5 has dozens of guns listed, which, of course, because they have all those different gun models. But the real question is, do they have Persona 1? Yeah, I'd assume they'd have, like, a dragon as well. That would make sense. Get Lamia out of here, at least this one. Oh wait, oh shit, I should have done it on the other one so Forni could have done fucking Mabufula, I'm dumb. Whatever, here. Oh, I could have had him try to use Fogna too, actually. All right, well, here. Oh, that's right, P2 also has guns, yeah. They don't have Persona 1, but they have Trinity Soul? What the fuck, that's so, okay. Well, that's weird. Yeah, of all the things, fucking Trinity Soul. That's funny. Yeah, you know what? They did actually have guns in Trinity Soul. 
I don't remember. <laughs> oh! I just realized our stats went down. What happened? Well, whatever. I think... No, I'll, I'll have um, this do her healing. And she does need a heal. What if I use Fogna though? If it at least hits Lamia, that should still like work. Okay. Well, we're drinking because it's still missed Isis. Just thinking, what if she's weak to that too? But I guess not. Oh well. Oh no no no! You heal. You heal yourself now. Oh my god, you know what I hate about- I mean, there, there's a lot of things that I like about the East Coast better than over here. But like, why is it fucking 100 degrees Fahrenheit? Like still, it's fucking October! I'd understand if it's like less than 100, that's fine, because I know it's hot here. But why are we still in the hundreds? It doesn't make fucking sense. And it's gonna be like that until what, Friday or something? I don't know, it's gonna be a while. And I'm like, I'm just like, man. It's a good thing I was in Kyler's house most, most of the time, but like, fuck, dude. It's so fucking hot today. Yeah, well-earned drink prompt, right? See, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, it's like, I mean, I shouldn't be wishing that I'm like getting misses, but at the same time, where's my drinks, right? So, here we are. Jesus, Lamia, just go. Just fucking leave. There we go. Now to find out what Isis is weak to. Or, I mean, ice has just been working, but I don't know. Let's try electricity. Fuck me. Let's try Mudo. Ah, there we go. Alright. Well, I would like to do... You know what? Let's do Witness Me. There, because like, Isis is the strongest one. Or the stronger of all of those three. Ah, fuck! Sorry. Oops! I just think it's so funny how like the human characters just run off when they- when they die. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Are you serious? Okay, um, so now we know she's weak to dark, so Baphomet Coon's perfect. Naoto's gun only has five rounds in it. Dang, dude. Yeah, Yi vibes over here. You're talking about Oktoberfest earlier. That's right, it's Oktoberfest! I know we, we have, like, events, like, Oktoberfest events, like, here in town. There's also, like, some stuff over in LA. I'm not sure if we go. Is this multiple drinks too? So, um, the- the death prompts are only if, like, it's game over. Like, game over deaths, not like if your party members die. So that didn't count. If there was a miss that I missed, though, that, then yes. Okay, we need a full party, so... Yoko! She's perfect! Yes, we'll get Yoko in here. There are a couple enemies in Darkest Dungeon 2 that aren't supposed to die when you defeat them, so they just sort of evaporate. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Is anyone interested in drinking festivals? Um, yeah, duh. Yeah, I've, I've talked about it with, like, my coworkers, but we never- it, we rarely follow through with like actual like events. If anything, we just go like, you know, we go out to drink, but yeah. You're still holding up your water bottle. Oh, I thought you had some alcohol too! But hey, at least you're hydrating. I can't- I can't complain about that. I should have done Omaga Tokis, I'm done. I'll do that next time. Waiting for the chance to strike. Drink. The same thing. Potato, potato, right? Oh, I, I thought we hit her with fire. Oh, fuck, okay. There's a pair of toy cap guns on Amazon for $9. You know, I mean, they're toys, so... I... That makes sense. Very good if you want prompts. Or props. Props. 
Oh, well, she's almost dead. Oh shit, you know what? I think this would be yeah, let's let's switch this out. I'm gonna have Is there anyone else here? You have my doom, perfect, and she's a healer. Here, let's switch. Switch you out with Haridi. Mm, one more Mudo. Or you know what? No, we don't need Omagatoki, I think. She's almost dead. I think we could handle it. <gasps> oh fuck! Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. But now we know what her weakness is. All right. That's the that's the fun of SMT trial and error. And that was a drink right there. Well, my soju is almost gone. A lot of reviews said they break easily or even arrived broken. Okay. Well, now the nine dollars makes sense. Yeah, I don't know if I trust that. <laughs> All right. I've been waiting for this. Yeah, I know. I have to. <laughs> Me too. Oh, I, I already said it. So yeah, I don't have I don't have the sound bite for that. Okay. Well, at least now I know. Um, everyone's oh everyone's actually healed. All right. Cool. So, we'll still keep Baphomet Kun. He's good. And then we'll have Haridi this time. Uh, actually, Yuzuru should switch with Yoko. Because you know, we want the strong humans. Damn, Yoko's falling behind! Shit, I, I, I haven't been keeping her in my party. So we'll do that. I think this is good. Let me save for the party lineup. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey. 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 Uh, hey. Uh, hey. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so it's always fun when you skip dialogue like and like the voice lines like still play. It's just like it's all on succession. All right. I think we should try and get rid of Isis first. Now that we know Hey, hey, hey! I miss her. Fuck! Alright, well, that's a drink. I finished this soju, so, um, if we get another drinking game prompt, I'm gonna grab the plum soju that I have sitting in the fridge. Just get rid of her. She's a threat to Nacho. I don't remember if, uh,. Mudo works on the Lamios, but, um, okay, that's good. Yeah, Mono Zako's just fucking off somewhere. We're, we're not gonna see that drinking game from at all. The reason you're willing to splurge a bit for the cosplay is you could use it for Halloween, Anime Expo, and maybe the Pasadena Con too. That is true! Also, you're considering AX now? Awesome! But yeah, like, um, yeah, it, it's nice. What the fuck? It's nice having, like, you know, if you have at least one cosplay, you could always, like, you know, bring it to multiple cons, and it's like, that's your thing, so. Oh, not AX, the LA one this winter. Oh, okay. The anime Los Angeles, okay. Yeah, I'm like, okay, AX, that's, that's a lot, but yeah, all right. Um, who else has dark herbs? Let's see. You don't- you don't! No, he doesn't. He's fucking light. Um... Oh! This one does. Alright, let's- let's put Dormarth in. Or! Maybe I should try to get rid of the Lamia. Ah, whatever. Let's get rid of the big one first. We'll see about AX, but neither Naoto nor Narancia have very good outfits for hot weather. Yeah. Maybe if there was a different Narancia cosplay that didn't have the leather. Like, that's the thing. Some Sometimes, like, 
there's cosplays out there. There's like like the leather or faux leather versions of um, the cosplays, but I'm sure you could find other ones. But yeah, that's fair. Yeah, like oh, that's a drink. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back with the other soju. It is time. Plum soju. Um, but yeah, like, uh, yeah, we'll see. Like, AX, that's gonna be a lot. I don't, like, people still wear, like, I don't know how they do it. With, like, so many, like, people, like, the crowds and then the heat. Because, like, there's people that have, like, the long sleeve ones. Or, like, sometimes you see, peop see people, like, cosplay in straight up armor. Like, I remember, uh, I think it was Dimitri from Fire Emblem. We saw one, like, out in the heat. Like while waiting for the SMT concert, like uh, like last year, holy shit! Like I don't know how he did it, in that blazing heat. Oh my god! Oh fuck! Plum is so good too. Holy shit, this is good. But yeah, like I don't know how people can do that. I certainly can't. I would never want to wear like a long sleeve cosplay to AX. And that's why. <laughs> Like, um, my demi- my femme demi-fiend or, like, um, femme sukuna. It's why it's nice wearing those to AX, cause, like, I have so much skin exposed, it's like, oh, I'm cooled down. But yeah, it's- I don't know how people do that! You met a streamer earlier who told you they were having soju as well. well mine is- so mine is Plum. I have the Jinro brand, so it's, like, the green bottle. I know there's other brands of soju, but honestly, here in Bakersfield, Jinro is really the only soju you can get. You'll cosplay Anna Sweet instead. Oh yeah, totes. See, that would help. Yeah, I, I could see you rocking Anna Sweet. But yeah, it's it takes a lot of like it takes a lot of guts. To cosplay um, an armored character in a at AX, like I think. Speaking of guts, I think I've actually seen some guts, like from Berserk, like cosplayers at AX, which is insane. But, like, yeah. And then I guess like the cosplayers that are like um indoors, like at, at like the entrance for AX, like sometimes you'll have um or like one of the entrances. Like, there's a specific entrance, I think, like, the main main entrance, I, I don't remember if it's, like, north or whatever, but, like, there's, like, um, cosplayers that gather there just so people can take pictures with them, and it's, like, they, they have, like, you know, professionally, like, it's almost, like, professionally made cosplays, like, they're, they're so high quality, it's, like, wow. Because I remember the first, my first day X, there was an Alucard and, um, Seras there, and, like, the Seros, like, I think maybe she pre 3D printed, um, the gun, but it- it looked- it looked like the- the real thing. Like, it was insane, like, and Seros is gone. like, if you've seen Helsing, it- it's a big- it's a long fucking rifle kind of weapon, and it's like- or not rifle, like a sniper rifle, yeah. But it's insane, like, what? You carry that around? And, like, I've seen, like, some, like, cosplays where they have, like, the armor light up. Yeah, like, I guess, like, maybe, like, I don't know. With all those people, I, I still think it's pretty hot. But, like, at least you're in, like, a cool down-ish, like, part of the venue. And I'm, like, outside. So it's, like, if they're there, like, you know, waiting for people to take pictures and stuff. Excuse me. Then, yeah, that, that's, that's fine. But if you're wandering around, like, in, like, you know, armor or whatever outside oh jesus it'd be really funny to cosplay the sword that is that is funny honestly a genius idea too yeah like i don't i don't think anyone's ever done that that is honestly a pro gamer move right there someone should do it 
Okay, let's see if we- Oh, fuck! Damn it! It's a good thing some my characters, like, block these dark moves. Fuck! Okay, yeah, that's definitely not helping. If I bring Tal and she's gonna die with the fucking Madoon, so let's see if we have anyone else. Is there anyone else here with, like, dark moves? You're already in. Shit, dude. I think those were all my darks. I'm just kidding, I, I totally forgot about Mononongal. How could I forget about my girl? Let's go. My girl. My girl. Talk about my girl. My girl. Wait. But will we even need her once, like, Isis is gone? Well, whatever. I'm working on it. Come on, she's almost dead. You guys got this. Oh, I should have had her concentrate. Maybe next move. Your next set of turns. Come on! Isis is almost gone! Get rid of her! Fuck, dude. Come on! Come on! Finally! Jesus! Okay, now we just have to deal with Lamia. Oh, fuck me! Hit one of them! Yes! Fuck you! Alright. Um. Okay. Well, I could see what we could do, but we do need, like, you know, ice fusers. Okay, yeah, definitely the Ural Hunt me. Seras' gun is apparently not based directly on a real gun since it's modified to kill vampires. The caliber is a giant 13.7 millimeter and somehow it weighs 50 kg or kilograms. Yeah, fictional guns, right? But yeah, it, it's an insane gun. <laughs> it's like, there's no way something like that could possibly exist, but yeah. Very interesting. Um, you know, I just... I mean, okay, let's see how... Or, uh, I'll switch. I'll switch some peeps out. So they're way to ice. I'm gonna get Forney in here, and also, um... Your turn. Go! I mean, okay, we just brought Mononongal in, so maybe, if anything, I'll try to do Toxic Spray. Ah, uh, at least we got our defense down. That's still a miss, though, so we'll drink. Damn, yeah, this plum flavor is really good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. And, uh... You know what? I think we should do Matarunda on them. And then... Oh, I should have done Arakunda. So do it next time. Okay. Sorry, Mononongal. I really need to get rid of these... ladies. So I'm gonna switch you out with Yuzuru, because I know he's got Bufala. Let's go! Oh, great. Well, at least- No, it's my turn to do Omaga Toki too. We're gonna get rid of y'all. Yeah, fucking watch me! We're gonna get our Omaga Tokis in before you. Let's see. Um... Oh, shit. Well, let's just stick with the Modun, because either way, the lightning or fire, they're not going to be too effective, so... Let's do what we can. Hmm. Okay. Just in case the other Lamia is still alive, I know that they're going to use... She might try to use dark. Here. So, if anything... And then, try to see if we can get rid of her. Okay, well, Mabufula can definitely take care of that right one. Yeah, alright. And then you will have this. 
Okay, I don't think we even need a charge. She's almost dead. Oh, she's using lightning. Fuck. Oh my god, stop! Jesus, fuck! Ew, gross. Can you, like, not do that? Jeez. And, uh... Oh, shit, you don't... Okay, I'll have you use the item on, uh... Nacho. I have- oh, shit, I have 10 beads! Here, use this on him. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude! Oh, that's a drink. Come on, Nacho finisher! Yeah, let's go! There we go, teamwork! Awesome. Please stop. Oh. I have no intention of harming me, Azu. I don't understand the vocal direction in this game. Some moments they don't have the voice like, you know, the lines aren't totally voiced and then next next thing you know they're all voiced. I don't get it. I'm I'm not falling for that. You won't get away with taking my sister. Yasu is further in. You can see for yourself if you don't believe me. Hmm. Something's fishy here. Yasu Atsuta seems to be safe for the time being. We have avoided a worst case scenario. But regardless of her physical well being, it is still possible that Komsu could be planning to use her to become a Naruino. Oh shit. We should move forward and get a better understanding of the situation. Dude, I think Algami knows that we're trying a drinking game and he's like, Ah, uh, yeah, I'm a prompt on here. I'm not gonna say young man. Man, come on. I want my fucking prompt. There's something on the ground where the demon disappeared. The lady talisman. Ooh. Full HP and MP recovery to self. Very cool. The waters of youth. Lady, won't you hear me? I might get you. Let, let's recover. That's definitely important. I'm glad that I had my prices reduced for healing. That's a handy miracle to have. Alright, um, we'll definitely save, that's for sure. What? It's 105 in the morning? What? What? Really? We're almost two hours in. Wait. Oh my god, Tao! I just wanted to see what was over there. Fine, we'll check on Miyazu then. Jesus. Stay alert. Be careful, young man. I feel a sinister presence ahead. I recommend we fully prepare before going any further. All right, well there we go. There's our drink. Never mind. I take back what I said earlier. Um. So like. Uh. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like this is a pretty solid team. Or hold on. So, I cover ice, I have lightning, I have dark. And she covers fire. Okay. Ice. And, uh, more ice. I need someone with light. You know what? Yuzuru, I'll switch Yuzuru out. We, we barely use Dazai. Here you go. Let's use him for once. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, it's him. Of Bethel, Egypt. What business do you have with me? We're here for Miyazu. Yeah, we wanna do the least to initiate any confrontation. Like, I mean, we don't want fights. We wanna try to negotiate here. I'm not gonna ag you heard him. Miyazu is coming antagonize him. No, no antagonizing here. Nipples. Ooh, special cutscene. I have watched you and Miyazu for a very long time. 
Believe me, I understand that you want to keep her safe. However, now that demons have invaded Tokyo, you simply don't have what it takes. I will be the one protecting Miyazu from now on. Her prince! Time to do the right thing as her brother. Time to stop putting her in danger. Ooh. The hell do you think you are? Stole her from the hospital? What kind of protector does that make you, huh, jackass? Let's go, Yuzuru. We got this guy. We'll get Miyazu by force if we have to. You know, Loki, I'm seeing some Yuzuru and Dazai ship vibes. I, I'm, I wonder if anyone's made some art. Mostly, it's mostly on like Dazai's part, but I can see it. Video pog, right? Yeah, it's nice when we get the cutscenes. Ah, yes, it's time for leg and ah, oh, fuck yeah, this is the first time we hear this song. Ah, oh, this song goes so hard. This is like my favorite song from the ST5 soundtrack. I feel like um, maybe we should try ice. Perfect. Yeah, he's probably gonna be tough, but let's see what we can do. Um, well, maybe. Okay, so maybe he's weak to ice. Yeah, it's time to get funky. <laughs> Excuse me, everybody, clap your hands. All right. Well, now that we know ice, perfect. And you, cautious cheer. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's use that. Oh my god, the little fox, cheer on I love, I love that fox. He's so cute. This song goes so hard. Oh my god. I guess we could try Zeodyne. Okay. And um, let's do. No, okay, hold on. I want I want more press turns. Imagine an aquarium with SMT with a pool full of Forniuses to pet. Oh my god, I'd spend so much time petting the Forniuses. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was like stuck in that, that stingray section for like, I feel like at least 15 minutes. Like, they're so fucking cute. They're nice to touch. Oh, that's okay, that's a drink. I like that Dazai keeps like showing his phone like, oh, let me take a selfie. When you see him attack, it's so funny. Okay, all right. Um, so let's keep hitting that weakness. Oh, Yoko can't really do anything right now, huh? Okay, I have made Patra though, so if I hit the weaknesses, let me see. She, she's not out of commission yet. Oh my gosh, she's kind of weak though. Here. It's okay, I'll sacrifice my ice. Um, let's see, maybe- No, oh shit. I don't know, I feel like light wouldn't work on him, but yeah. Oh, uh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck! Shit, okay, I- we're gonna die. I already know. Dazai's like, yup, this is going on my cringe compilation. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, so he's weak to ice. Okay, well we got Jackie Boy here, so... We'll also need a healer, but... Um... Give him a Jack Bufula. And that decreases defense. I like that. Can we possibly do Mirage Shot? Or, hold on, I'm gonna do Cautious Cheer again. Go boy. Go boy. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god, this song goes so hard. So, okay, I do at least need a healer. So let's get Talon. Your turn. Go. Ha! Suck my dick. That that is kind of scary though. Shit. I'm not. I'm not good too. He's not. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting Tal also has some Mario Kart, so we can bring back for you. Fuck it, cautious cheer again. Found a much better reviewed fake gun for ten dollars. Oh, perfect. That's not so bad. He ho for the rescue. Exactly. Yeah. It's my boy. He's my boy. Okay, we should do like um, the buffy debuffy, so let's see. I think we already. We'll do more Raku Kaja, I think. Or hold on. Uh, actually, no, I think. Or Matarunda. Let's do that. And you! Let's tr Didn't he just use fire? Let's do Zonma. Oh, he has a Senri. Ha, yeah. It's a good thing that Dazai resists that. Oh, and you too. Yeah, perp- Oh, she blocks it straight up. Awesome. She was a good choice. Alright, let's get Omanga Tokis in there. Alright. As much as possible, always good to squeeze in some Amaga Toki. Yeah, we're decreasing his defense with Jack Hoopula too, so that's really cool. And we're gonna do this. Yeah, okay, we're looking pretty, pretty decent. We're doing some good damage. I'm glad he's not hitting Jack Frost for that. Unless. Ah ha! Oh! Sukamadik! Sukamadik! Here. I'm gonna see if I can Samara Karm. Fornius. That is gonna take a lot out of, um, Tao, but... There's a joke SCP that kills people with Ligma jokes. That's funny. Alright. Here. Right now, I think I like- No, actually... Dazai can still do a little bit, because Tao actually needs to switch out. I'm gonna hit him with, a. Uh... Let's see, maybe, maybe we can- Oh no, he's gonna resist that. Never mind, keep hitting him with the uh, Zalma. I'll have Tao be the one switching out, but Dazai is gonna have to go soon too. Okay, Forney's coming back. No, cause Horny's home. Home for me, hey. And, uh... You. Okay, he's at least past halfway, so that's good. HA! Oh, oh, that's sexy. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. I'm not sure if I have anyone else with ice. Let me see. Let me see if we can do as much as we can. Okay. Forney go round. He spoon. Anyone else with ice? Hmm. 
doesn't look like it. Um, okay. I think I'm gonna- Oh, I'm fucking stupid. Yuzuru, doll. Oh my god, the way that Dazai like fucking ducks and then runs. What the- what the- <laughs> The way he's waddling his arms too. Oh my god, I totally forgot about fucking Yuzuru. I'm stupid. We got this. Now we got this in the back. All this fucking bitchin' song is playing. I love this song so much. Okay, so he's using- he's been using fire. I think that a fire dampener would be good, but let me get my extra press turn on first. Let's see. I don't think we can necessarily kill him for them, but we'll see. Get him! We shall see. Okay, uh, just in case. Just in case! I wanna make sure. See, look at him. He's like charging up here. I, I don't like that. So I wanna make sure. If we don't finish him off, we can at least block what he does. I hope. I'm assuming he's going to use his Agi moves. Yeah, okay, that was a good call. Wobbly. Well, fuck me. Fuck me! Jesus, are you serious? Oh my god, this guy fucking sucks! No! Fuck off, mate! Are you serious? Dude, that's fucking dumb. Shit. I have Haruti, she can at least heal. Or maybe I should have Dis. Oh uh, no, she doesn't really have any resistance to like, uh, light. Do I have anyone else with like, Midirama? He is mocking me, what the fuck, bitch. Um, do I have anyone else with like, Midirama? Oh, you know what? Yuzuru can heal himself. So, hold on. Diorama and... Okay, they both have Diorama. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll... Son. I'll have her. I think what I'll do is I'll do Sun's Radiance on me. And he gets Diorama. Konsu's a bitch, right? Fuck that guy. Oh my god. Please. I shall assist you. Oh, now he uses fucking fire. Look oh my god, are you serious? Dude, bitch. Fuck this guy. Oh my god. He's not playing around. Alright. Well, fine. I'm gonna get dissing. Fuck. Let's go. Okay, well, Nacho is still okay. Yeah, we need to buffoo these nuts. Use it again. Go show him who's boss. Okay, I don't think we're gonna finish him this turn. Here, we, we do need a stable party, so... I don't have anyone else with ice, but... Hayatoro has good attack, so if we can at least do Carnage Fang for this Hayatoro, that should be good. Excuse me. <laughs> mm. Ha! Good, I resist that too, bitch. Alright. I'm okay just in case, you know, the off chance that Konsu's still alive. Oh, well, that's right. My Hayatoro has his blood. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we might get it. I don't know. We'll see. Come on. You're doing great. 
Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna risk the fire, so here. Hey. Oh wait, no, he uses fire himself, so that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, we wanna make sure he's gone, so let's finish him off with Carnage Bang. Just kidding, he's still alive! What the fuck, are you serious? Why is he still alive? Dude. Okay, now he should be dead, right? Jesus! Go away, damn it! Dumbass! Oh, hold on. I should do your No! No, no, we got this. There we go, this! This got this! Let's go! Alright. GG's. Everyone, please stop fighting. Oh, it's Miyazu. Miyazu. I'm so glad to see you. Are you okay? Sukuma <laughs> I'm fine, Yuzuru. But please believe me. Konsu was just trying to protect me from the demons. Mm hmm Yeah, now she says this. Couldn't you have shown up earlier so we could have like prevented the fighting? God. Great thinking, Miyazu. I know. The one who's been protecting me this whole time and you've sacrificed everything in your life just for me sacrificed that's not true at all we're family the only family we've got i know but i also know that i'm a burden on you Oof. i don't want to be anymore miyazu no Konsu will keep me safe that way, you can start living for yourself. Bro, protect Miyazu. 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 And if I see that you can do oh, that, look at her I precious think bean. You can have hope for my future too. Man. But if you're still worried about me, please help other people who are suffering like I am. Sorry, oh, I skipped over his. <laughs> but thank you for trying to help me. Bro. Bro, time. I apologize as well. I should have done more to keep this peaceful. Yeah, you think? But I'm sure you understand the threat that the Kadishu pose. Will you allow us to shelter Miyazu here? Please take good care of my sister. Damn. Oh, look at the maka I get from that. Well, give me the money and I'm not complaining. <laughs> well, would you say this enhances my appeal? Dark Pleroma. Ooh, that would be nice for the Madoon there. Yeah, she has like fucking four physical moves. We can get rid of one of these. I think I'll get rid of Hysterical Slap. Yeah. The panting noise. <laughs> I know. Oh, I forgot. Drink for a beating boss. There we go. You are aware that Abdiel is currently commanding Bethel's forces against the Demon King, correct? Well, it appears another Archangel may be making a move. Oh, yeah. Hmm, I kind of had a feeling. His name is Mastema. Mastema? More like Nastema. Oh, shit. Archangel Nastema. You might consider him a shadow operative of Bethel, taking the dirtier jobs in the name of God, even commanding demons. Ooh, yeah, he nasty. <sighs> you taint angel feather, okay. Shadow operative, persona three, haha. <laughs> if you use that, you should be able to meet with Mastema. It may be worth your while to speak with him, seeing as how you share a common goal. Yeah, sure. 
Ooh, okay, we're going back to Shinjuku. Can we explore more of uh, Bethel, Egypt, though? See what they have to offer? Thanks oh, just kidding. For helping me with Miyazu. I guess she's stronger than I ever gave her credit for. She doesn't need me anymore. Yeah, don't put yourself down, Yuzuru. Yuzuru? That's... Sorry, Yuzuru. I couldn't help much. And he ended up doing most of the work. Yeah, I I think Dazai likes you to do like 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 something. You I don't see have it. To be sorry. If there's anyone who wasn't able to help me, Azu, it was me. I I have to think about the last thing she said to me. Yuzuru. Oh shit, this is important. Important. Right there. Konsu said he'd protect her. And we basically just took him at his word. It's a risk. Do you think we can really afford to believe a demon's promises? Or not? You know what demons can be like. Would we be fools to trust them? They can be trusted. I I think you can trust them. Demons are friends, not food. Actually, a lot like humans, aren't they? Yeah, we have some a lot in common. Some are easy to trust, and some are a different matter altogether. Sorry, I guess that all came out of nowhere. Hey, look, uh, are you gonna go see the Archangel after this? Cause if you are, would you mind taking me with you? Me too. I want to know what Bethel HQ is thinking. You are my friend. Uh, yeah, me and the demons. I'd like to join as well. Is that alright? Well, fucking everyone's coming along, I guess. Of course. I guess. No, of course. Of course you can come with. That's fine. Okay. Then once we're all ready, let's go. Go man. Uh, yeah, there it is. Drink, drink. On recent events. My thoughts on Bethel. Yuzuru Atsuta had been fighting to protect Tokyo from demons for oh. the purpose of keeping me I'll, his only I'll purpose. show this in the stream tomorrow because I did take pictures, but Bethel is a, a town, an actual town in um I think that was was that Vermont? Well it's a real town somewhere on the east coast. So that I thought that was pretty fun. But his actions created an unintended byproduct, namely an emotional burden on his sister. This led her to leave him and go with Konsu. Mm -hmm. Human feelings are complex, and it is difficult to ascertain correct courses of action. I am curious as to your thoughts on the matter of Yuzuru and his sister. My thoughts on the matter of Yuzuru and his sister. I, um, well, shit, they're giving me four options this time? Damn, they're really making me think here. Well, I mean, I, they both had to compromise. That, that is a factual statement. Miyazu would be like, I'm sorry, Yuzuru, but I'm down bad for Konsu and his sexy legs and his blue nipples. <laughs> They no, they they both have to compromise. Yeah, they're they're coming to, yes. Compromise. So you mean to say that neither side was entirely satisfied with the result? What did Miyazu compromise on? Like you know, she wants, like you know, part of her is like, oh, you know, Yuzuru is my brother, or whatever. But then the other side, the other part's like, you know, but but like uh, I'm getting the protection that I need. From, or like, you know, I I can like, you know, take my burden off of Z Yuzuru, you know, by, by joining Bethel Egypt, or like letting them take care of me, whatever. I'm just, I'm just, 
I like to be neutral, so I'm going with like you know, this is this is the best way. By entering we agree. Protection, Miyazu will be safe from the danger surrounding Tokyo, and it is unlikely that Bethel, Egypt, will be defeated by other demons. Additionally, Yuzuru will no longer need to risk his life to protect his sister. From this perspective, the ideal result was reached for everyone involved. But even if that is the logical conclusion, the look on Yuzuru's face seemed to indicate a reluctance to accept it as such. Yeah, it was like that's his fucking sister. Now I see why you call his it only family. Matters can hardly be fully settled when accounting for human feelings. Or I guess in this case they're really focusing on Yuzuru, because like yeah, like he's like he's torn. It's mostly Yuzuru the that's all like compromised. Heart is difficult to understand. Even if both sides want what's best for each other, a desirable solution cannot always be reached. Yeah. But despite yeah, to agree. that, I believe having such unconditional love and compassion for another is a remarkable quality. Oh, Yuzuru's gone, damn. Alright, well, now Agami wants to talk. Alright, well, I'm gonna save first. Oh yeah, I can't talk with them from here. Let's see what um, Kochimizu has to say, or whatever the fuck his name was, I forgot. <coughs> Excuse me. If he's here... Where's, where's the Prime Minister? Not here? <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going back to the dorm, that's why we're here, right? Okay, I, I was like, Nacho, you're so slow that I forgot you can actually run, too. He doesn't Naruto run, sure, but at least he's running. <laughs> Sergeant Yakumo had a son, if I recall. What? A good kid. Honorable, just like his father. Hope this world hasn't beaten him down, too. Oh, you know what? I wonder if the kid he's talking about is the, um, Yakumo that we know that's, like, you know, fucking around with that. What's her face? What is her name? Fuck, I forgot it. I just remember Yakumo's the Raido wannabe. But, yeah, I don't- I don't know if, like, Sergeant Yakumo is that guy's dad or if the Yakumo we know is the dad. I, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming that Yakumo's the son. Nua. With a W. Okay, now I remember. Wanna W? Okay, I don't think there's anyone else here who wants to talk. Shit, I- there was something I wanted to say and I for- I just forgot about it. What the fuck? Oh, whatever. I, I guess we're just going back to the dorm at this point. I don't know. Is he like Yakumo the second? It seems like it. Unless maybe they had more generations that we don't know about. I'm not sure. All right, let's go. To, let's go to my room. I'm gonna sleep. Sleep it off. Maybe maybe I'm gonna get weird wet dreams again. I mean weird dreams. Go to sleep. What? Go to sleep? No? They're, they're, oh, I thought he goes to sleep. Alright, well fine. Fuck it. I'm going back. I'm going back to Nastimo, whatever the fuck. Where is he? Where is that? Where is that? Where did they say it was? Shinjuku? Oh, Shinjuku, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go right there. Wet wind? Yeah, exactly. Holy shit, that's a big description. Damn it, I'm trying to remember what I was trying to say. I forgot. Mm. Whatever. Alright. What the fuck has happened? Let's see. Hey. 
Say, why are you here, Dazai? You have some business with the Archangel? Huh? <laughs> it's just all this stuff with Yuzuru and his sister. I don't get it anymore. It wasn't wrong for Yuzuru to want to save his sister, right? So why can't they agree? Was there some right answer I'm not seeing here? What? Does I? Huh? You had many moments that you just forget what you're about to say. Yeah, I, yeah, it happens to people. It, it, it's dumb, but yeah, it happens. And I can't remember. I really can't remember. I was literally just about to say what was on my mind and then poof, it's gone. Now, I don't know if it's the alcohol that's kind of affecting it, but I really fucking forgot. It. Yo. I just can't stop thinking about it. Angels always do what's right. That's like their whole point, right? And an archangel? They gotta know how to be strong and serve justice. So I'm hoping I can talk it out with this archangel and Mastema. Huh. Well, I won't stop you. I'm just not sure you'll come out of it still believing in the angels. Yeah, Yoko just really got something against the angels. Hey, come on. <laughs> what do you mean? A master archangel is not gonna do anything bad. Back me up, Isonokami. That's true. Uh, right. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <Yes. laughs> if you say so. Anyway, our objective is up ahead. He's probably like giant. I think this is the place Oh, more cutscene. Well then, let's see if we can summon Mastema. I offer this feather. It's an awfully dark angel feather. Ooh. Oh shit. Just got a posse with them. Dang. This dude. Did I watch the llamas with hats epilogue? Was this? It was 20 minutes of surreal and sandy. Egypt. Ooh. I haven't watched it. I don't know if Kyler's watched it either, but I, Kyler loves llamas with hats, so maybe we'll watch it together tomorrow. We'll see. Or today, now that it's past midnight. No, we're with the Japanese branch. Konsu lent us the means to summon you. Indeed. Then let us speak as allies. I am Mastema, an angel in service to the Kingdom of Light. Now, what business do you have with me? Let's ask about the Kadishtu, that's why we're here. Yes. Ah, so you would know more of that demon menace. They are beings of darkness and a grave threat to this world's peace. Our Lord weeps every moment they yet wander free. Mm. Would recommend it was surprisingly poignant. All right. Well, I'll be sure to watch it then. Because they're attacking people and gathering Magatsuhi? Precisely. Even across the seas in my land of origin, they have schemed in shadows, spreading chaos in their blighted wake. It was in pursuit of them that I arrived in Japan. And even now, they elude their judgment. However, I suspect they visit this land often. Thus have I been maintaining a careful watch here. What did I think about Kafka on the shore now that I finished it? Let me watch the cutscenes first. You know, get get after all of this dialogue and then I'll, I'll mention. Like, spoiler free. They would use it as the staging ground for their vile plan. To summon forth a malevolent being who will rebel against our lord. They're trying to fight God? Ah, yes. Just ca- just us and tea things. I had hoped that I could apprehend them as they made their move and so thwart their dark designs. However, given recent developments, I judged that I could no longer afford to lie in wait. 
Ultimately, I could allow them no further progress toward their aims. Thus, I resolved to cut off their supply of Magatsuhi. You see, those demons choose their targets carefully. Their human targets are hand-picked to win them vast amounts of Magatsuhi. In other words, without humans, they have no source of it, and thus, no hope of fruition. What do you think? A perfect countermeasure, no? What do you mean, without humans? Is it not obvious? If humans cannot express their negative emotions, then they will not produce Magatsuhi. I don't like where this is going either. What are you getting at? It should be simple enough to demonstrate. Oh shit. Tofu! Oh, he's, he's scratching at the door, but I, I can't miss this. Uh. Uh. He's peeing his pants. Oh shit! Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh no! Oh shit! Not nah, does I know the sucker went away. No happy ma here. No. What the fuck? Well now does has a fucking salt statue. He's being assaulted. Ah, uh, funny. Thus, another source of Magatsui is beyond their grasp. What the fuck? Are you serious? Oh, looks like Toku's not at the door anymore. Okay, sure. Be at peace. I will return him soon enough. Oh, okay. But I trust you now understand the situation. Some humans have even allied themselves with those demons in their quest for Magatsui. If those agents of chaos succeed in calling their malevolent avatar, the entire human world will suffer. Surely a few sacrifices are nothing in comparison. There's gotta be a way to turn him back. We haven't even fought him yet. Yeah, exactly. I... I understand that, but still... Hold on. In that case, what if we meet the Kaddish to ourselves? Oh? A fascinating idea, if possible. That would certainly be a joyous outcome for all concerned. I admit I took no pleasure in turning the people to salt. I even hesitated at the last. If you were instead to strike down those vile demons, I could hardly object to such bold measures. You, Tao, and Yoko, was it? I pray for your success in bringing those agents of evil to justice. What is it? Those demons have appeared near Shinjuku. Our angels are currently engaging them. Well, well, is that so? We could not ask for better timing. Might I have you join them on the field? Dazai, was it? Be not afraid, my child. Let us return you to your natural and destined state. Hmm. Destined, huh? Ariel, can you come help us? For real! Dude, why can't- let's get him in our party. Could really come in handy. He is kind of sus, though. Yeah, it's more- more video cutscene. I'm just leaving him here. I can hear it cry. The voice of your soul reaches out to the heavens to beg for salvation. I shall free you from the pain and worry that plagues your heart. Be not afraid, for what awaits is grander. Well, there he goes. Simple. Sodium chloride! The dude that's salt. That's what I said! Sodium chloride! 
<laughs> the fact that he's kicking up his legs. Should you so desire it, I shall grant unto you the power of the just. The power to repel evil in the light-blessed name of our Lord. You shall smite the demons that array before you. The malevolent and the unjust shall fall by your righteous hand. Power like unto the Nahobino. Me? I could be like him? Indeed. Young Ichiro. Heart and soul is pure as light. You could hold the power of absolute justice. It could be yours. Is this not as you have always desired? <laughs> Close your eyes. And prepare to receive our blessing, Ichiro. Just that they isolated him. It's basically temptation. Exactly, right? Yeah. I mean, those of us that have seen S and T five in a I think we know what's up here. All right, huh? What's going on? I can't believe it. It was the angels turning people to salt. Didn't we already theorize this? We came to this conclusion. Oh wait, Toku wants to come in. Let me let him in. Let's that go again. Okay. They didn't know 100% until now. Oh well, yeah. I know that, I'm just- I'm just saying it. Come on, man, I'm just trying to put commentary in here. Jeez. Hold on. Do you get it now, Tao? That's just how the angels do things. The creator and the angels make the rules in this world, so they think they get to decide the fate of all humanity. Well, the fate of everyone. I mean, you saw they did the same thing to the village fairies. Hey. You still think what they're doing is right? Do you really think humanity can be happy in this world? Yes. Even so, I still want to believe this world has a future. <sighs> Tao. She's like instantly happy now. That's true. What the angels are doing is wrong. I agree with that. But everyone makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody makes mistakes. Even if we don't agree now, with time, we can be better. And then someday, angels and humans? Maybe even demons can all come to an understanding. Nico commentary adds spice to the game. You take it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. You know, we gotta, we gotta add, we gotta add some flavor in here. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, make everybody happy. Yeah, exactly. You seriously? think that's possible? <laughs> I do. It'd be nearly impossible alone, but I've got Nacho. I've got you. And so many other friends. If we put all of our powers together, there's nothing we can't do. I truly believe that. The power of friendship! This is everything. 
You wouldn't watch if I if I wasn't commentating. Well, I appreciate that too. Yeah, see, yeah, we gotta, we gotta, I gotta have my own spin on things. Sounds good. You really are something, Tal. You never waver, even if reality is against you. We'd better move. We have to find the Kadish too. Excuse me. All right. Well, where are they? Where we go? Okay, eight thousand mock. I'll still take it. Yay! I'm gonna get my. Let's get my magic up. There we go. Should really work on that. Everyone leveling up here. Oh, there goes Dazai. All right. So where are we going? Wait, where are we going? There? Alright. Let's teleport. Damn, does I? All my friends are going away. Oh, let's see. Demon hunt. Let's see who wants to talk. Oh, yep. I had a feeling Tal would want to talk. What? What's past is past, but we can still change the future. The old me probably would have been stuck on regrets, but now I've got something I need to see through. I need to face forward. Sound effects, loving them. They are fun. Pardon me? I must hold nothing back if I am to be worthy of my master. Alright, yeah. Oh, human. <sighs> Haste makes waste, as they say. For now, I advise you act at your own pace. I thought haste makes paste. Yeah. Seriously or among, they are very fun. It's bench time! Yes. After so much time alongside you, I think I have a better grasp on the workings of the human heart. Even taking action in another's name isn't guaranteed to make that person happy. I understand that pain now. I would rather you remain shielded from the pain that Yuzuru and Miyazu Atsuta felt. What do you think? That's why I want to talk with you, and make sure I'm fully aware of how you feel. Oh, he cares! He does care! Bench Kun, my love! Okay, um, I'll get the vitality up to match the strength. Oh, wait. Oh, two. Okay, let's get each of these up. That's what I want to see. More bench coon. <laughs> Angels should protect humanity, yet an archangel was responsible for turning innocent humans to salt? Is that truly their aim? Stop the Kadishtu's plans by any means necessary? Even such brutal ones? <laughs> Either way, we can solve all our problems with one fell swoop. If we simply stop the Kadishtu. For now, it seems we have no choice but to do as that Archangel says. Yeah, no young man! What the fuck? I want my drink, damn it. Wonder what an agility luck build would be good at. It would probably suck. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure what the details are with like uh, you know. Um oh, yeah. agility and luck in this game. I see a hint of adolescence remains within your countenance, though it seems noticeable only when participating in interactions such as this. Mm -hmm. I hope you know I did not enter into your service for the sake of idle chatter. Though considering we will be facing life-threatening battles together, I suppose it wouldn't be so bad to get to know each other. Well, now that he says that, I was thinking of fusing him off, because I really don't really... I really don't use Archangel much, but it's okay. Oh, hold on. Let's switch up the party. I'll heal people, but... Um, let's have, uh, let's have, uh, Mothman. Yeah, it's, it's... Or no, I, I was just talking about Archangel. Why don't we... Let's see what he has to offer. Otherwise, maybe we will fuse him. I don't know. Well, let's recover. Before I forget that everyone needs to heal. Okay. 
Oh, right. We're going to cross over to... No. No, no, no. Wrong place. Shinjuku. We're going to... Kabukicho. Anti-drink prompt move today, Algami. Man, really? Like, usually he's young manning all over the place. But now, he's, he's trying not to make his drink. Oh, <sighs> excuse me, this is bullshit. Okay, oh yeah, we definitely need to save. Alright, well, um, we're headed up this way. Did that thing just disappear or is it chasing after us? I'm not really sure. Did you know there's a human girl wandering around here? Apparently she's super strong. Guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. What were the couple drinks earlier? Oh hell yeah, back to the catchy ass music. You s the second you first saw the main character you knew. Oh, yep, exactly. How are we doing today, Rampart? What's up? We're doing a drinking game, so if you'd like to take part, um, you can use an alcoholic beverage or a non-alcoholic beverage to drink right here. I did not drink for seriously. I forgot. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, what was the other one? Because I still want to drink. Mmm. I still don't have room for Ulse. You were like, there ain't no way they didn't draw lots of fan art. Oh, exactly. God damn it. I'm trying to remember. Damn, everyone's forgetting right today. Alright, oh. Well, let's see. Ah, oh, we never got what he's weak to. Let's try Zio. I feel like Buku didn't work. They got the blue haired for him, and you're like, yup, it's too late. Exactly. Everyone likes them twinks. Why don't we try Agilao? Perfect! Fire! Oh, you don't have fire though. It's okay. I got Carnage Fang. Or actually, let's do Fizz Bluff. Because I know that's gonna work for them. Atlas knew what they were doing, right? They knew what they were doing with these designs. You for gore! Damn it! I have one job! It's alright. Let's see, our muscle. Oh, I remember what I wanted to talk about before. So I was kind of pissed off because, okay, Oasis, right? They recently reunited. They posted on Instagram, like, um, probably like maybe a couple days before, like they were gonna do something on Monday. They like had um, a post of um, Times Square in New York. And they were like, 8 a.m. EST, and I'm like, I was thinking they were gonna do something at Times Square, and I'm like, oh my god! But what they actually did was, at 8 a.m., they announced that they were going to have a U.S., Canada, Mexico tour. As part of, like, you know, them coming back. So I'm just like, thank fuck! Because, like, I've always wanted to see them live. They're gonna be playing in L.A. That's, like, the one West Coast show that they have. So I'm, like, I'm just thinking, okay, yeah, it's definitely gonna be worth... Um, you know, all my money. Or like, you know, it, the, the, I know those tickets are gonna cost a lot, but yeah, like, I have to see them! This is my one chance. Because who knows what they're gonna do after this. So I am going to buy those tickets once they're available. Like, I can't wait, oh my god. Oh, I'll do another fizz block. That really helps. Oh, Hama will work too. Oh no, let's hit the other Osage so we can get him out. Hmm. Oh, duh, you have Agilao, I forgot it. 
And you are gonna do Carnage Fan. Hey, there we go. Shit, the tired is starting to catch up. Don't fall off! Is there like stairs or anything? What do I prefer? The ST5 vanilla version of the combat theme or the vengeance version? It might just be because I'm used to vanilla, but I, I think I honestly like vanilla better. I don't know. I just kind of like the instrumentation a little better. I'm not really sure how to explain it, though. You know nothing about SMT, but imagine this is what the world becomes when Spoiler Boss from Persona 4 wins. Uh, no, 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 not necessarily. The Vengeance one sounds more lighthearted. Yeah, I, I think I think that's what it is. There's something about the notes. Hi. Yo. Yo, you there. Let me ask you a little something. In your opinion, am I beautiful? Yes, look at that beautiful blonde hair. I think so. Oh, excuse me. Ugh. What the fuck? Two bots at the same time? Are you serious? Ridiculous. Really now? Excellent. I'm glad. Then I'll need lots of gems to make myself even more beautiful. Apologies for the late introduction. I am Addis. I am a demon of some renown here in Kabukicho. This town is the stuff of dreams for those who visit here. Though it is now the netherworld, that aspect of the city remains unchanged. I make women happy. In exchange, they gift me jewels of equal value. However, oh, whoa. <laughs> However, it is not for my own pleasure that I undertake such a task. My body and soul are devoted to a certain goddess evermore. For my mistress, I must always remain beautiful. To that end, I need many, many more jewels. A beautiful demon attracts beautiful goods. Judging by your appearance, I believe you'd be proficient at collecting gems. What say you? Will you search for jewels to adorn myself with? Okay, sure, why not? Thank you. I expected you would agree. Now, for the jewels I'd like you to find. Bring me two diamonds, three emeralds, and three amethysts. One can never have too many jewels. But I can't... can't but, oh wait, but this should be sufficient for now. When seeking gems, you should have a demon knowledgeable in jewels in your um employ. Utilizing their wisdom would make your task progress more quickly. Uh -huh. Let me give you my business card. It may come in handy when emitting the assistant or when enlisting the assistance of such a demon. Cool, thanks. <laughs> He's got his business card. All right, sure. I don't think I have what he needs. I require more jewels. Please accept my gratitude in advance for taking care of this for me. Okay, whatever. Let's see- let's see Paul Addis' card. Exactly. I tip the fuck, please. Oh my god, you can tell the tired is catching up with me. I'm like weakened. Shit. What was that? Um, no, thank you. Yeah, I'd like to see you try to come up here. Jeez. Who wants to talk over here? Okay, so where's that point we're supposed to go to? Oh, actually, what's this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Are you perhaps looking to make a purchase? You must be looking for <clears throat> a certain product that may just increase your capabilities, yes? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am Kudlak, and I am more than happy to give to those who ask. This guy's new. <sighs> it would be my pleasure to offer my product to you, but there is one small problem. The vampire hunter Kresnik has been interfering with my business. As a result, I'm suffering from a shortage of raw materials. Looking to buy, eh? Ooh, say, thanks. Kresnik always, Kresnik always seems to take issue with whatever I do, no matter what it is. According to him, less fortunate demons like my customers should not be allowed to enjoy even a modicum of happiness. I, on the other hand, think the feedback of my or feedback my product has reviewed or received speaks for itself. <laughs> oh. I feel like a real winner for the first time ever because of it. Such customer satisfaction, and yet Kresnik is trying to take away their joy. <laughs> Not to mention the declines in profits hasn't exactly been convenient for me. I, if only I could restore the supply somehow. Mm -hmm. But now that I think about it, I'm sensing quite a power from you. I'm sure you would be able to deal with that Kresnik for me, won't you? In exchange, I'll give you some of my product free of charge. Oh, sure, yeah, Mr. Vampire, I'll take it. I like how this guy talks. Excellent. Then we have a deal. Oh shit, that's far. Kresnik often uses the elevated structure in front of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building for scouting. <laughs> Stain his white, white coat with the red of his own blood. Ooh, that's a drink for white. Okay. Soviet. Where? Damn it, where does Supina go off to? Whatever. What you just saw a username live laugh limp biscuit? What the fuck? I love that. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. Okay, so it looks like where we want to go is around here. Where's that to you? The vending machine stuff. There you go. How am I gonna get to this place that we need to get to? Oh shit, these guys. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm zoning out. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Ooh. It's been a while. Look at all these cutscenes we're getting. Oh shit, it's her. So guarded at the mere sight of me, I haven't come to fight you today. No, Nahupino. We could make good use of your power. Won't you abandon your cruel god of law and join our side instead? It's time to do the do the do the duel. I hope not, Jesus. I wasn't prepared for this. Morality, control. No matter how the eons change, Bethel's ways do not. They believe themselves so righteous, suppressing and exterminating those who dare to defy their precious regime. 
It's all so wrong. Don't you think so, Nahumbino? Talk all you want, but you've taken innocent lives too! They bent the knee to the god of law in body and soul. I promise you, death was a mercy for them. Come on. Mm. I know this world's order seems unjust. Change danger. You. Why not join us and embrace freedom? I need an adult. Keep your filthy hands off him. Say what you want. There's nothing you can do to twist us to your side. What now? I see we have unwanted guests. Nahubino. I'll see you soon. I have an adult. No. <laughs> well, shit. Okay. I thought I sensed what the fuck? Enemies. What are they doing here? If you're looking for the Kadishtu, she already escaped. Oh, right. They're hunting the Kadishtu, too. I see. We told Archangel Mastema we'd kill them. Now there's a name I wasn't expecting. So he's the one behind this dreadful mess, is he? <laughs> Hence the Pillars of Salt. Repulsive as it is, it does clarify things. A shame we miss them, again. By now, I imagine they have almost all the Magatsuhi they need. So they've gone to the other side to finish the job. Certainly possible. Other side? You mean our Tokyo? Why would they go there? Um, I uh, they want uh, for more Magatsuhi with the pillars of salt, pillars of salt, pillars idea. of salt. They're obsessed with gathering Magatsuhi, mm. and they'll do whatever serves that aim. If they're going to Tokyo for Magatsuhi, does that mean? I can sense an otherworldly presence within the Metropolitan Government Building. I imagine we don't have much time. If they're in Tokyo, no doubt they're busy siphoning the populace of all the Magatsuhi they need. Howl's face. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I <laughs> see. I, I'm zoning out. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a sign. I need to stop. I do need sleep. It's 2:16 a.m. over here. Wait. What? It's 2:16. We had at least three-hour runtime. Yeah. I still have a lot of soju left, so this will definitely be good for um, the next time we have a drinking game stream. But I, I need to sleep. Yeah. I'm, I'm going out of it. But we got some pretty good progress. We. We went to see what was happening in Bethel, Egypt, and met Nastima. Where's Tofu? He's here. He's sleeping in the room. Yeah. I'm gonna get going. Yeah, I need to fucking sleep. But yeah, this was a fun stream. I'm glad to be back. Thank you guys for tuning into the stream. As always, love chatting with you guys and hanging out and drinking. If you're just watching, I'm always glad to be entertainment. So tomorrow, because Kyler's coming- Oh, I have to talk to Kyler about it. I haven't mentioned that. My parents gave the okay. But since he's gonna be here, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take for the PC to like install and I'm not sure when he's coming here. So um, we are definitely gonna have like the the trip summary thingy, like the trip stream, um, you know, later today. I'm not sure if we're gonna have a game available to play. If we do, there is technically something that I have 
that I think would fit for Spooktober, but it's not, it's not like a long-term game, but it's definitely a temporary thing, but that's only if we have enough time to play. You thought Tofu was still vibing? Oh yeah, yeah, he's here. He's vibing, just sleeping, because it, it, it's late, he's tired, he wanted some company. But yeah, GG's. Yeah, fun stuff. So like, yeah, just, just stay tuned. I will definitely be around. It will be fun. It'll be nice and chill. But yeah, I'm gonna get going, get some rest. But thank you guys once again for tuning into the stream. As always, appreciate seeing you here. Matanene, my dudes. I hope you have a lovely rest of your night or day, wherever you may be. I'll catch you guys later. Take care, stay safe out there, and peace out.